So that's probably going to be me to me today, today, tomorrow, and the day after that. Or however long it takes. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that's hilarious. What? Have you uh, seen anything like uh, E5? No. Oh, damn. Also, we're live. Shit. And they just, uh, somebody just posted a video of um, Doom Guy. Except instead of taking out a gun, he took out Isabel. And then he waved to her and fist bumped her. Um, okay. This is on Twitter. Figure it out. Yeah, I'll figure it out. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay, so he has a gun out, then he takes Isabel out, and he waves to her and fist bumps her, and then he sticks her on top of his gun. Oh, not, shit. Not to, her. not to shoot her, but, like, to sh she's sitting there watching uh, him shoot things. <laughs> you obviously don't know the lore. No, I don't think I do. <laughs> Isabel's the next Doom guy. Oh, okay. It's been established via the limitless power of memes. I see. I wonder if they're ever going to actually do anything with that, like the actual companies. Because <laughs> that would be That's fucking funny. hysterically funny. All I hear is people in PvP chat be like, yo, pull back, regroup, and I'm over here like, no, nah, I'm, I'm the tank, I can I can do my AoEs. We fine. Back. Hey, thanks, bye. I don't know who the hell invented limp in PvP. But they should be, like, thrown downstairs. Isn't that just, like, one of the ranged DPS's roll skills or something, though? Yeah. And it's like, oh, you just can't move at any speed that's faster than walk speed for 15 seconds. And every time it happens, I swear, they get off on using it. They use it so much. Like, what the hell's the cooldown on this? You could hit an entire team with that without fast it goes. Well, if you're a ranged DPS, there's probably a few, anyway, that play uh, ranged DPS in PvP. I've, from my understanding, it's a little bit safer than playing like a melee DPS because you can just kind of stand behind your tank and healer and pew pew things but I don't know I don't play much PvP though so I can't really say one way or the other <laughs> I mean I'm playing PvP specifically until like I hit 60 and then I'm just going to go through Stormblood's story mm -hmm. right. and if I need a level I can just be like we main scenario Right. hey Yugman how's it going we are going to get started in about, what is it, 4.32? Uh, two minutes, we'll get started. So. Fucking hell, man. You play range DPS to farm kills? Yeah, see, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes man, sense. Man, I'm over here just trying to get through this PvP session and shit. I'm over here trying to play a tank. You want to kill things, you got to switch to an archer or a machinist or whatever. Killing's a completely different story, man. I just wish I could do something useful with these wolf marks. Like, I get it, they're good for glamour, but once you have, like, 8,000 of them, like, what do you spend this on? Uh, I was gonna use mine to buy some PvP gear that I can descent in order to get some of the many, many, many items I need in order to do the Crystarium facet quests, but... But, uh, that really <laughs> doesn't apply to you. Like, <laughs> hard calc how much you need for that. Yeah. That's hilarious. Well, I didn't hard calc the uh, prices, but, you know. You can buy a mount of 20k in Glamour Prisms, Yugman says, so that's a thing. And hello, right. Conquer and Nitro. How is it going for the both of you? It's going good for the both of us. Mono stays away from PvP because of fear of mono death syndrome occurring. I mean, that's a good point, actually. <laughs> mono death syndrome? Is this a part of the lore I'm not familiar with? Yes, where I, where I have to die in basically every game that I play, so... You, right? It's like a requirement. It's a law of the universe. Mm -hmm. My best game in PvP, though, was when I played on uh, Monk the one time, and I got, like... I don't think I hit double-digit kills, but I got, like, seven or eight kills. I only died once, and I got, like, probably about ten assists. It was pretty ridiculous. I was, I was on fire that game. <laughs> My addiction is fucking whack, yo. Hmm. No, it's more whack than Benediction. Right. Fucking limp skills. Super Bowl lighting after Benediction. Stop. <laughs> That's whack, yo. I 
Okay. Imagine trusting your healer so much that you could just like super bowl I'd click off the buff and completely trust that you'll live. Oh wait, I do that every time I living dead. Mm. I mean <laughs> Doing good playing Kingdom Hearts 2 since you've been wanting to play it again recently. Nice. Nice. I uh I have to get through Chain of Memories to play Kingdom Hearts 2, but that will happen one of these days. I just gotta find a good time to actually play Chain of Memories, which is uh for me, because I don't like Chain of Memories, it's a bit of a tall order, but, you know. <laughs> you hate Chain of Memories. It's actually kind of funny. Well, let me let me say it this way. It's not a terrible game. I just like one part of the game a lot better than the other part. And it's not the part that you play first. <laughs> right. So. I actually, and I can, I don't think I'm spoiling it if I say this. I actually like reverse rebirth mode a lot better than normal mode on Chain of Memories because I don't have to worry about my deck at all. I can just go with whatever they give me and then it's like, okay, now it's challenging. Mm -hmm. Instead of grindy. <laughs> Which is how the game feels for me anyway, normally. Hey, Meteor, how's it going? You are just Woo! in time. That's a lot of boys. Cole is getting lambasted by lots of boys in PvP, and I'm about to log in so we can get started. Oh yes, thank you, other whoever this dragoon is on the opposing team. I needed that you to move me like that. Hmm. Got your work schedule changes. Just can't join on Fridays anymore. Okay, no problem, Meteor. That's cool. We will um, try to work the schedule around everybody's. Uh, schedule as best we can um, if we have to you know rotate out who is able to join for dungeons because it's on a certain day that certain people can't join then it'll be it'll be fine we'll make it work it feels really weird spawning in here each time i'm doing moogle quests at zenith with all the somber music and then i just go off and do moogle quests and play practical jokes on literally everyone that i come across from there but i mean i guess i will eventually get used to it so it's fine. By the way, who feels like going and playing more practical jokes just like the last episode? I do. How you doing, everybody? Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood, the stream edition. Last time. We got the moguls up to recognized rank, and because I had extra quests with them before, uh, after that, they respawned quests for me. So I got them to recognize in like two days. So now we can go to another one with them. And then we can head off into Stormblood, because we actually also last time got to Girabania, um, got to Ralgir's Reach, actually. So we're going to go off and do story stuff once I'm done with this quest. I just want to keep ahead of these, so it's not like I'm doing a bunch of them in a row. Spread them out, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think a lot of people like Reverse Rebirth more than normal, unless we're talking about Wonderland Reverse Rebirth. That deck can go to hell. That deck sucks. I remember that deck. Yeah, that that's probably the worst part of Reverse Rebirth mode, but once you get through Wonderland, it's like everything else is just right. You know what I mean? So uh, We're going to do this one on Goldsmith, by the way, because my Carpenter is currently 68 and uh, Culinarian is 65, and I don't want to level them too much because I'd like them to gain some actual experience from the other Beast Tribe quests that I'll be doing later, so... Let's see what Mogzin and Terrasin are deep in discussion about. That fucking mood. This team, people who play PvP and 14 might feel this. That feel when you're actually with a group that's coordinating without you having to scream at them, and you're actually doing half decent. <laughs> Boy, that would be nice. I agree wholeheartedly. I think I've gotten that, yeah, like, three times total. That's in... yeah. Dear God, that person was molesting my camera with the regalia type f anyway oh okay sure so what's next on the restoration list there Ter uh, master terrison i don't know if i should call him master terrison or just terrison at this point Ooh, okay an outer wall and yeah of course there's an insurmountable obstacle unsurprising okay so how do we do this Hmm. Oh, well, that's actually fair. If you get the dragons to help out with the Zenith reconstruction, it'll give them something to do besides sit on their ass all day now that Nidog's dead. Oh, okay. 
We should probably go with him to make sure he doesn't... Oh, okay, it's just gonna have me hang on, out and wait for him then. You ever just vibe check somebody with quiet as it's hilarious? <laughs> Oh, it shit, doesn't uh, one of the bosses in the Edenscape cast Quietus and it just vibe checks everybody? Uh, yeah, multiple times. It's actually kind of funny. <laughs> because every time he casts it, it's just like, damage up! Damage up! Hey, look, we're dead. Hmm. Welp. <laughs> Thanks, Jesus. So who is your dragon friend there, Mogzin? Oh, hello. I see I have awoken Espy with talks of enrages. <laughs> Hello, Espy. How you doing? Soft enrage sucks. I wouldn't know, but I'll definitely take your words for it. See, the thing about that specific enrage is that the boss just casts Quietus, and you're like, okay, this first one hurts. This is fine. Healers try and get everyone back up to full health, and then they cast another one. And another one. And another <laughs> one. And another one. <sighs> Until finally he's got like four stacks of damage up, and then he casts Quietus again, and then just the entire party just fucking explodes. Hmm. Meanwhile, in the Moogle quest, Smogzin summer summoned a small dragon boy. Hello. Old D oh, is his name. I want to see this guy pick up a giant stone. Oh. <laughs> I, I didn't re I must have missed that part, but apparently in, he, he can actually do what they what Mogzin said he could do, but he has to wait till he's full grown in three hundred years. Bruh. Uh <laughs> Moogles are hella old. For fuck's sake. Well no, Mogzin's not nearly that old. The dragon can get that old though. Fuck you, right? I don't think that's how that works, Mogzin. Yeah, and Zenith will probably have crumbled by then. Hmm. They're still fighting for that metal node. Oh boy. Oh, we're about to win. Cool. Okay, let's just hope we don't play any practical jokes on dragons. I don't think they take that nearly as well as the Mughals do. <laughs> Okay, we gotta go see Oldie's brother YF. Got it. I don't know if I'm pronouncing these dragon names correctly, but I'm I'm trying. <laughs> I sure am trying. So there's gonna be a wall here soon, huh? All right. I'm trying to envision it in my mind, and yeah, I don't really see Moogles being able to put a wall there. But whatever. Let's go. Excuse me, Confucius. Let's not. Uh, reflux our lunch here. That would be bad. Yeah, that would be pretty bad. Oh. Just, you know, casually throw up over, or across all the Mughals in, in uh, Zenith. That wouldn't be good. No, it would not. I don't know if they'd find that funny or really gross. <laughs> A and B, probably. probably. Depends on who was thrown up and who was not thrown up on. Probably. Yeah, his, his brother is a little bit bigger. He's also T-posing to assert dominance, so that's kind of cool. I didn't okay, expect him to stand on his hind legs in front of me. Hello. Well, thank you. That's very generous of you. Look at the size of this lad. <laughs> yes, please. Also, my team might have pulled an absolute mad lad maneuver back there. Like how? So, uh, literally, 75% of our team is in mid fighting for a high-level node. Mm -hmm. And then me and, like, four other people are noticing, huh, all of the Maelstrom and all of the Serpents are there, and any of the Adders that aren't there are fighting for a level 5, are just going off the Kalim level 5 node that's on their side of the map. We have, like, two level 4 nodes on our on our half, so we just both claimed those and we both won, and I just started dancing on the node. Because <laughs> there was literally an army of Maelstrom charging, and I'm sitting over there doing the fucking Manderville Mambo. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, it's no practical joke there, Fly, if we're actually trying to do this. Although, if you need to see the depths of my conviction, I might need to switch to Dark Knight for a second. 
That which cannot speak but can be heard. I didn't know you were good at riddles, but apparently I have to craft it. We're just going there to get a hint from Terrison, aren't we there, Mogzen? I'm just gonna... gonna I'll be back. Go. I'm gonna run the area once on my alt, see how much XP it gives, see if it's good. Okay. Uh, Actually, wait a minute. From here? I'm stupid. Oh, it's over here. Right? No, I'm not stupid. Mm. I'll get used to flying to Barley's eventually. Just not yet. Okay, so what do we do? He presented a riddle. And if my practice at the riddle quests in this game have proven anything, I'm terrible at riddles. <laughs> What you're telling me is I'm going to be able to run my entire main scenario before you solve this riddle. No. Because <laughs> Terrison's going to probably solve it for us. Terrison's a smart boy. Uh, Mogzin, that's the quickest solution again. Okay. Hmm. I mean, this is somewhat true, but I don't know how true it is in the Final Fantasy XIV universe. Um, maybe this. I don't know if that means he's just going to try to trick him again or what, but... Everybody's still with us? Yes. Okay. Yep. We're good. Yeah, you're going to have to not show me that last skill, Mugs, and I have no desire to see how many nuts you can fit in your mouth at once. Please stop. <laughs> Had to sneak it in somewhere. You're an idiot. Oh, that is a good point. Yeah, music is able to be... Uh, it's not seen, but heard, so... Or rather, it doesn't speak, but is heard. Okay, so what kind of... Uh... Oh, okay. I could probably craft you a decent read, then. All right. Let's see what we can find. Right but I have here. salted earth at this level. I'm stupid. Mm. I'm so used to not having good skills when I run dungeons. It's just like, what am I doing with my life? Oh, okay. Well, I probably have like 30 Koopo nuts at this point, but thank you for giving those to me for free. <laughs> How many do I have at this point anyway? Oh. Mm. I heard that as an echo. I have 11. <laughs> I heard that as an echo. I could hear it down here first before I heard it through the headpiece. <laughs> through the headset. Uh, horn something materials. That's what we're doing. Just... <sighs> What'd you do? Or what happened, rather? The healer was just like, Wee! I'm not gonna heal you for five fucking seconds! And I just died because I big pulled the beginning of this fucking dungeon. Well. Okay, so we need a high-quality horn component. Let's see what we can do with our little... I don't know if this is the right hammer for the job. I might want to use my claw hammer, but this is probably fine. Let's take, take a look at our new calculations tab. I love this freaking thing. It's so great. It's such a great little quality of life thing. And you know, I know it used to be down here before, but this is just... It tells you exactly how much every single one of your skills will do for you in terms of progress and quality, and that's just phenomenal. Like, I... <laughs> I love this damn thing. Uh, okay, so standard will give me 471, so we need a great strides. Because, like, now I don't need to calc it. I can just kind of do exactly what it says and go from there. Okay, fine. I'll pull slow. God. There we go. We have a high-quality horn component. Uh, just ignore the other Moogle quests that I have in my inventory. I've got that there as a part of an experiment. I want to see if he spawns any more daily quests after I finish this one with one of those in my inventory. So, or in my quest log. Well, I happen to have the flourish for you right here, Mogzin. There you go. The question is, will the dragons enjoy your horn skills? I don't know. I guess we're going to find out in about two minutes. Let's go meet up with old D and his brother. Somehow I don't think that the dragons are going to find this whimsical. Like, I, th I, th I think I'd be more inclined to believe that he's going to find it as an insult and start to, like, almost, like, scorch us to death, but, you know... <laughs> 
<laughs> You're the warrior of light. You can take him. I probably can. Maybe not on Goldsmith, but you know. I just, just switch. Ass. What? Just God burn his ass. Yeah, true. Just suplex the dragon. Yeah, true. He is in the perfect position to suplex him. I wouldn't be able to do it if he was on all fours. I'd have to lift him like 180 degrees almost at that point. But as he is now, I only got to go 90. Okay, let's try this again. Top rampart. So, you, so this is a yes, a horn. Well, glad you like it. <laughs> Old D's like, oh, of course, this must have been the answer. And Vyf's like, come on, you idiot, you didn't know the answer. <laughs> Yeah, I only crafted the reed. It's probably fine. It's like 99% his. Well, twarn't no thing, Vyf. I'm just glad that, uh... You know. I'm just, I'm just glad that you didn't find this insulting at all. Okay, so he didn't blow you all up. Good. Oh, okay, that makes sense. So Race Valgir invented music for humans, basically, and Moogles by extension. That's kind of interesting. <laughs> he fucking invents music. What a mad lie. Well, you, they were saying, basically, the reason why it happened is because the dragons sing, and their songs are roars and loud noises, and they're completely alien to other creatures that can't roar as loud as they can. So... Race Felgear's like, well, humans are kind of living in harmony with us. This is thousands of years ago, obviously. So maybe we should give them a way to join along. And then he was like, aha, music. And he told them how to create. Well, he gave them the magic to create instruments. So. Oh, I don't like this. I'll just take your word for it on that. I don't think I want to eat three nuts at once. Let's see if T-Po's dragon over here can get the wall built for us. As long as he's not made to pay for it, I think we'll be okay. Let's see him. This is the dodge the AoEs like a smart person one. Mm. I have prey. That's bad. Oh, no. Okay, Terrison, how's the wall coming along? I would assume so. He's promised to help us build, so that's trust probably your healer, good. Trust your healer, trust your healer, trust your healer, trust your healer. Dead. Damn it! I just have to repeat that mantra to myself sometimes when I'm in high level dungeons with Dark Knight. Hmm. Oh! It's nice to work together. Teamwork makes the dream work, after all. Hop salted earth. I mean, you are armed with a hammer there, Mogs, and you you don't exactly have the same weapon as most of the other Moogles. Most of them have those little toy axes, so... Yeah, it should be an interesting uh, little endeavor we've got going here. Well, all's well that ends well here, I think. That was significantly less funny than the last one, but that's okay. Do you think anything can top the last one? I'm not sure. Oh my god, it remains to be stop seen. standing in fire! Isn't that his job, though? Well, they got the wall built. That's pretty cool. It's looking a little bit more like an actual, uh, whatever this place was supposed to be. Plaza, that's what it is. Thank you. The, the game answered my question. Oh boy, I can't wait for Nidhogg. Mm. Screams internally.
And we have reputation up with Mog Home, with the Mog Menders. We are now friendly with them. Nice. See, I didn't, um... Oh, okay, cool. So that's what that was. Got it. Um, so the reason why I got those three extra quests the last time is because you get three additional quests as a reputation rank bonus. And I think if I remember right, it's for the first, like, five ranks, which allows you to do this a little faster than you normally would. Because if you do it how you normally would, it takes about 41 days from start to finish to finish up the Beast Tribe quests from Heaven's Ward on. With this, it should shave off about, you know, like five days, something like that. But I'll take care of those quests and the one that's in my uh, inventory. Whoops, that's not the right key. There we go. Uh, in a little while. Just not yet. Uh, why don't we repair since I did a little bit of that? I'll, I'll just do this as my one repair for the time being and then we'll go from there. Okay, now that that's done, we can head back off to Raugir's Reach, which I now have as a return point because, uh, well, my house and then the airship is a little bit of an easier way to get back to Ishgard there. Because Ishgard isn't uh, that far away. This is a little further. Halfway through, uh, Airy. I'll join you just as soon as I'm finished with this run. I'll, don't worry, I read fast as shit. I will catch up with you. No, that's fine. You're good. I'll, yeah, you're right. You do read, like, twice as fast as I do, so you'll probably be... <laughs> you'll probably be right on my tail there. I gotta tell you what, though. I really dig the music in Raul Gears Reach, both day and night. They do a really good job. They did a really good job in Heaven's Ward, and now they're doing a really good job in Stormblood of having good first area music. Because the music in uh, Ishgard itself is really solid day and night. And the music here is really solid day and night. So I can dig it. While we're waiting for coal, I also found out something else. So let me go on a crafter. As it turns out, I'm already in good standing with the House of Splendors in, in Ralgir's Reach. Because I was in good standing in Ishgard. So I can actually take this quest right now to do this. And there's Espy. Whew. She really is an enterprising lady, isn't this, Rowena? Well, that's fair enough. If she can stimulate the economy here, she's going to be a very, very rich woman. Not that she already isn't, but, you know. Rowena's got, like, Godford money. Probably. But yes, yeah, so now we can get appraisals and script exchanges here in Ralgir's Reach. Let me see what's available here while we're while we're standing here. Okay, so they actually do have the level 70 gear available using crafters and gatherer scripts, so that's cool. Didn't acknowledge that you dyed your hair pink yesterday, so you're back in black. And to be honest with you, I didn't even see that. I'll, I'll be completely honest. I saw it, but I didn't, I didn't even <laughs> I didn't even see it, so I couldn't even acknowledge it. Um, but yeah, anyway, they just, uh, instead of having you trade for, like, dice and crafter scripts and all that other crap that they had you trade in Heaven's Ward, now they just straight up say, okay, you have the scripts, trade that to us, and you can get the level 70 gear, which is what I'm going to do. But I need to level check and see which level of this stuff. Sorry, I didn't hear you. What? 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 Level 7 what now? Oh, the level 70 crafter and gatherer gear is just available right away if you're in good standing with the house in Raw Gear's Reach. So. This oh, is not cool. the right gear, though. This is the level 300 gear. We want this one, I think. Yeah, this is the stuff right here. Because this is the level 350 gear. And granted, I can't wear any of it right now on any of my crafters, except for Leatherworker, which I'm not using. But I can wear the Gatherer gear. Uh, if I go right here, go to Gatherer Script Exchange, go to gear two, we can grab some fancy new stuff, and I should probably go on a gatherer so I can show you how much better it is than what I already have. Uh, let me go over to Miner real quick. Now, Miner is level 71, as you can see up there. I've got, uh, so I've got Miner at 71 and Fisher's at 78, so, but the stuff I'm equipped with is the level 60 stuff. So it's a little bit, uh, not as good as it could be for all the stuff we need to gather, but if you go over here and do an item comparison, yeah, that's, that's much better. <laughs> That is, that is quite a, significantly better than the other stuff, so. So we're going to work on getting this stuff. I'll get it off screen, though. Um, <clears throat> sorry, my voice went a little bit there. I'll get this stuff off screen, and I'll uh, glamour it and all that stuff in between now and the next time. 
because I actually don't need very many scripts in order to get the Gatherer stuff. I think if I calculated it right, I need about a little over 2,000 to get myself fully outfitted. And the reason for that is that they also made another smart decision, and they took all of the Disciples of the Land and gave them all one gathering set now. So you don't have to buy one for Fisher, one for Miner, one for Botanist. You just buy one for, for all three, and you're good. It's the same with the Crafters, so... That's how that goes, and that is, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll grab that stuff, uh, but I'll grab it off screen and I'll equip it. Probably still have the same look, because I don't think any of this stuff is going to be significantly better looking than what I've already got. I'm kind of attached to my current gathering and crafting look, so. But anyway, now that I have that out of the way, I should also mention that the one thing that I was looking to avail myself with in Ralgear's Reach when we got here is actually located what? in... Uh here what the f what what the f what 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 you know the uh, mustard gas thing in uh the airy yeah with the, in the airy with the bomb yeah what about it uh it exploded oh well <laughs> Anyway, uh, the thing that I was looking for when we first got here is actually going to be located in this section here, but it's not available until I unlock the Clan Centurio here in Stormblood, and that's not available until a little later in the main quest line. So, until a little after the first dungeon, basically until our first break from the main quest line uh, in Stormblood, I'm going to be equipped with just the Augmented Shire gear for the vast majority of my classes, but not to worry, that is more than enough to get us to the point that I'm going to be getting, so... We'll, uh, we'll make it all work. Uh, and then we'll come back and we'll buy that stuff because I have enough Centurio seals to probably kill a cow with. So, not that I would, but you know. Probably. Guess who's being a photographer's assistant again? Oh boy. What do you gotta be a photographer's assistant for there, Conker? What's that all about? Um, so normally I say when in doubt go left, which would mean I'd go with Mefred first, but I think we'll go with Nago first, because if I remember right, hers takes you back into the fringes, and I actually missed an ether current over there last time, so we'll, we'll see if we can do that first. So we're going right instead of left this time. This won't end poorly at all. Mm -mm. Nope, totally. This will be fine. Hmm. Well, weren't nothing you wouldn't have done for us there, Minago. Okay, so Jimmy? Yeah. Second boss in the area. What in the name of all the bloody hell do I do to kill him? Because that bomb literally just exploded and nuked the party. So the mustard gas has to be killed by the DPSs after it absorbs a couple of the mustard gas, uh, well, the gas pockets that it absorbs. Um, you just have to make sure that the boss doesn't, you know, target anybody else, essentially. If You're the tank, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, you just gotta make sure the boss doesn't target anybody else, and the mustard gas just has to absorb the pockets of gas until it gets to, like, I think it's two stacks, and that's when you want to kill it. I think, if I remember. Like, it'll swell after it takes up a certain amount of them, and then that's when you want to kill it, is when it swells, so. The fucking ninja woke up one of the slumbering dragons. Hmm. Dumbass. Have to set up and even take pictures for your sister's photography class? Oh, jeez. That's not good. You'd think she'd be doing that herself since it's her photography class, but... Oh, boy. Alright, let's see what Nago needs here. Oh, okay. Well, we can do that for you. Apparently, Alice is going to join us on it. Alright. Cool. Cool. And yeah, I think Roban's still over at Castramorian, so that should yeah make it pretty easy to get this message to him. All right, off we go then. We'll take this off to uh, Castramorians, and then we will uh, head back once that's all done, and we'll take care of Mefred's stuff. I think if I remember right, Mefred's stuff takes us to the peaks, which is right over here. We haven't gone there just yet, and I didn't accidentally go there off-screen like I was almost able to do, but, uh... Fall of Man... Yeah, if I would have gone there off-screen, I probably would have played a cutscene, and I didn't want it to play the cutscene for me getting there for the first time, so... I said, it's alright, I'll, I'll go there when I'm done. Or when I'm told to go there, basically. 
You would think no, but you have to help. Oh, that's not good. Well, I hope it doesn't take too long and it's not too much effort there, Conquer, because it sounds like it's a little bit of an annoyance. I, I understand, though. I understand the annoyance. I've, I've been recruited on more than one occasion uh, to do things that I don't want to necessarily do. So, <laughs> I, know, I, know what you, I know what you mean. I know how you feel. All right, I'll meet you guys out there. Let's head back out to the fringes. Uh, Espy, are you already out here waiting for me? It's a distinct possibility that you are, because I need to ask you to do something for me. I need to ask a favor uh, if you're going to be out here going towards wherever I'm going. Um, so just let me know where you are and if you're going to be following me through. You're not, but you're in Raul Gears. Okay, gotcha. Well, I will go off and do this then. Um, but basically, the the favor that I wanted to ask... Oh, you're in Gridania. Okay. Uh, the favor that I wanted to ask, it goes not just for you, but for anybody in the audience that wants to wander around in the field with me and Cole. Um, so in dungeons, we all get synced to a certain level, which means that even if people are overgeared, it doesn't matter because your levels and your stats and everything get synced down to whatever dungeon we're in. When we're in the field... That's not the case, and if you're already level 80 and have level 80 gear, you can kill most of these mobs in one, maybe two hits, which sounds to me a lot like carrying, and I would prefer we not do that. So, the favor I would have to ask you is, if you want to follow us around in the field, I, I would appreciate if you would purchase some gear that is lower level, like closer to where we are. I know that's a lot to ask, but it's... It will preserve the difficulty to the point that it won't piss me off. <laughs> so that's what I, I would I would appreciate that. So that's finding Gusco Paladin, which is at sixty. Okay, yeah, that would be very good then. I would I would appreciate that. It, it would help you level up a little bit anyway, um, at least a, a, a teensy bit anyway. So and it would preserve the difficulty, which is what I would like to do. Uh, oh, okay. Let me just take a look here. I should probably move on from the Dara before I start looking at my map. Uh, the thing that we're looking for, by the way, is like up here somewhere. I took a look at a map to see where all the ether currents are, and uh, that's roughly where we need to go. So, Lowest job bubbles at 69, but you're doing your dailies. Okay, well, that's no problem. Yeah, It's not really a big deal if your levels, like your actual job levels, are super high. I just want your eye level to be closer to where we are, that's all. Because it, it, even at those higher levels, I don't think I can stun this. I don't know what it does, but I'm going to get hit by it. Oh, okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, like, even if you're using higher level skills, that's no big deal. Uh, the big deal to me is if we are running around in the field fighting these monsters and they're getting one-shotted by somebody with too high of gear. So... Oh, even though you're at 69, you're still using your level 60 gear. Well, that's not bad, then. <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm doing with basically everything. Until I'm basically forced to give my pretty much give my uh, Shire gear up, I'm just going to keep using it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to be using my uh, Shire gear with Samurai until uh, oh. until I start getting into like high-quality level 65 gear or level 67 gear. Because uh, that's about when I can uh, afford to give it up, so... You know, that Choco stun would have been nice when he was stone toing me there, Confucius. It's fine. I don't mind. I could take it, but... I'm gonna be getting sand out of my boots for weeks, man. Anyway. Ah, there you are. I don't know. Let's ask Nago. Okay. We're at the hard part. Uh-oh. Imperials. Well, she does have really good ears, so... Very good, apparently. She can hear seven separate people in three teams. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Yeah, we can get them. Okay. Sounds good. We have a battle plan. Uh, let me see here. She said go over here. I actually want to go north first, if we can go over to the Schism and the Circles of Answering, just to fill the map out a little bit, and then we can head up to the Veladina. Uh, actually, you know what? I'll do that after I go attack 
whomever is over here. Uh, oh, it's probably over here, actually. Look up? Okay. Sure. What am I looking up at? I think that was the cliff that we got the uh, ether current off of last time. I forget. Here we go. Thankfully, I'm not wearing a skirt, so looking up isn't counteractive to anything. <laughs> yeah, I already got that ether current, though, Nitro. If you're trying to tell me where there is one, I actually already grabbed that one, but thank you, though. Oh, I can't do that yet. Hopefully this Kai-10 lasts long enough. Oh, it did not. Oh, that's okay. Ah, that guy looks like he's got things well in hand over here. Let's see. Ah, over here. There we go. Oh, he's already flying around. Okay, he must be doing uh, clan hunts then, if I had to guess. Ah, there they are. Well, I'm probably going to end up fighting that Foper as well, but that's okay. Depends on if it gets pissed at me or not. Never mind. I got them. Alright, let's go up this way. Since I'm meeting them all in this direction anyway. We're going straight to the Velodyna. Uh, either way. But let's just hop up here and see if we can discover a couple of new locations while uh, simultaneously grabbing the ether current that I think is over there. Yeah, it's just northwest of us, so. Let's just go exploring while we wait for coal. How's the airy going, by the way? We are at the angry boy. Ah, okay. Gonna get used to popping True North there anyway, um, even though I have a tank helping me out with drawing aggro right now because SP's on a tank. Because uh, it'll probably be halfway useful. Oh, yeah, yeah. Probably do that. There we go. Let's see here. This should pop a little section of the map for us once we go up here. Okay, so that actually gives us a full section of the map right there. That's So that's like the edge right there. Um, we can go to the right a little bit and see if we can fill it out a little more. See what's out here in the striped hills besides giant spiders. Still not sure if a lot of the stuff that's just kind of sticking out of the ground here is just debris from like old airships or like what's going on with that. Like did they manage to shoot some of the Imperial stuff down or not? I can't really tell. And that should fill that out. Okay cool, so now we actually have a filled out map up to this point. So now, let's go off and meet up with our friends. Woo! Gotta tell you what, though. Uh, you never miss... It's it's that old adage of you, you never really miss it until it's gone. I've never missed Fists of Wind more than I do now. <laughs> I forgot how useful it is being able to move 20% faster. But oh well. It'll all work out fine. I don't want to see what level this guy's at. 72. Yeah, he's got to be doing... Either he's really, really over-leveled for this part, or he's got to be doing Centurio Seal Hunting. Whew. I don't know. Can't tell. We might get to help him out, although it looks like he's got things pretty well in hand. Uh. And he most likely got that kill anyway, so. 
on the road again, adventuring with random adventurers. We'll let him handle that one. My my uh, quarry, my my group is over here, so. Yeah, well, you know, they're not exactly on the up-and-up up when it comes to keeping their soldiers safe, so. Exactly, yeah, so, you know, just gotta kinda keep yourself alive as best you can. Right, yeah, no, I get that. Um, is any of this stuff, stuff that I can desynth? I think those are both weavers, so probably not. I'll just take the materia then, not that I'm gonna use it. I think I can descent this jacket though. I think. Well, I'll grab it and see if I can descent it, so. Okay. Let's keep going towards the castrum again. Quite a few people flying through here apparently. Current mood. God damn it, Astinian. Why do you die so fast? <laughs> I don't think I've ever had Astinian die on me in there, honestly. If this is, this is a first for me. God damn, I'm gonna need to unleash my maximum reading skills to catch up with you now. Well, we're only on, like, the second quest after you start helping Monago, so. Oh boy. I've attracted the village! Angered them even. Yes, definitely beware of crocs. They're the ones that can actually kill you. Well, alligators can as well, but they're a little more docile than crocodiles, at least from my understanding of Animal Planet. Which we have on a lot. Okay, let's try this shit again. Turn the homie around. And here's the ether current. I wasn't that far off with my flag, at the very least. So let's grab this one. And, uh, Cole, are you fighting things in the dungeon, or...? I'm fighting Nidhogg again. Oh, okay. I had to explain the mechanics, because my party has three first-timers in it, apparently. Oh, good. End me, please. Uh, when you join the party, I'll just give you the flag of roughly where the ether current is. Then, uh, cool. right about there. So, okay. See if any of these crocs are looking at me funny as we go Neither through here. Why? <laughs> well, there's one thing that I could say about the crocs around here. They're pretty well fed. See how chunky that guy was? Jesus. Thick boy be eaten for weeks if you beat that guy up and uh, cooked him up. I've heard from I'm not sure how reliable sources that crocodile and alligator taste like chicken. I don't know whether to believe that or not. Just follow me around and watch and laugh instead of help. <laughs> I mean, if you want to do that, you can. You're welcome, too. I swear to God. Uh, Tamu was doing that when I was doing my, uh, my level 60 quests not too long ago, so. Uh, this slushy's gonna aggro, isn't it? Yep. Controlled Cole with rescue a few times when he was exploring. <laughs> As you should. I hate. If anything, it's just giving us an idea of exactly how, uh, it was at the beginning of Stormblood anyway, because they didn't have rescue before Stormblood started, so... If anybody was... If any there was any time that you'd be rescue trolling, it should be at the beginning of Stormblood. So... <laughs> More soldiers, huh? Ah, oh, okay. 
Just Alliance oh soldiers. Oh god, why do these fuckers have so much help? Did that a few times to friends. <laughs> First cast Jermorians, let's see. Uh, yes, they were. Well, you're about to have the chance, so... Incoming meteor headed your way. Alright, meet us at Castramorians then, because we're almost there, so. It's like tactical nuke incoming! Uh, I think, yeah. I don't know who designed this dungeon, here. but I have a special place in hell. <laughs> mm hmm. Oh wow, that almost killed. I wasn't expecting that to almost kill, to be honest with you. <laughs> I don't think we fought a Sapria yet. That's just another Ochu. Whatever. Ah, there's Meteor. And here's Aleshi. Gotcha. Is that one of the Garo mounts? That's kind of what it looks like. Hmm. I remember those. I didn't get one because I wasn't good enough at PvP. <laughs> oh, there's striking mounts? dummies out here. Okay, cool. I have to remember that. Oh, it's a primal mount. Okay. Interesting. Haven't seen that one yet. That's for sure. At least I don't think I've seen that one yet. Robon, I have a friend that wanted to visit you to and see you again, my friends. Yeah, give you a I hope here to missive. Tell me you have made contact with the resistance. We have. This is a resistance member. We are, General. Allow me to introduce Monago of Rolga's Reach. Oh, that's the reward for getting all the Arum Reborn ones. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, definitely haven't seen it before. Interesting. Your service, sir. And may I say what an absolute honor it is to stand before the bull of Alamigo. These are not the blood sands, girl. You and I are but soldiers on a battlefield fighting for the same cause. So, so no formalities, basically. As you say, General. <clears throat> on behalf of Commander Kemp of the Alamegan Resistance, I present to you our formal response. Hopefully it's not too offensive. <laughs> he just opens it up. What the shit is this? Who scrawled this parchment? What did you do with your old inhaler? Uh, threw it out. Oh, I was not aware you had suffered such losses. What? Well, Beosar's wall did a number on everybody, so. I, some of our finest took part in the Griffin's doomed assault, and we've been struggling to find new recruits ever since. The massacres cast a pall over the whole resistance, and many who might once have been open to joining us have since thought better of it. Yeah, I wouldn't think that I'd want to be throwing my life away for an unnecessary cause either. Not that the resistance is unnecessary; it, the Griffin's uh, Ilbert's cause was kind of unnecessary. Unnecessary. Yeah. After all of the Griffin's false promises, one can hardly blame them. They have no desire to give their lives for a lost cause. Right. Exactly. If only he hadn't fucked things up for us, this might have gone a little bit better. Oh, God. Are they still being idiots, sir? They're not being idiots. Nidhogg decided to immediately tank buster me the minute the healer got knocked up by the fucking Sable Price. Hmm. Yeah, what we offer is not the This boss fight is just kicking our ass for no reason. Why? Hmm. The people need proof of this, Father. Let us show it to them. Yeah, I'm with Pippin. Let's give them an, a prime concrete example. Our new allies and engage the Garlians in open warfare. The resistance must demonstrate that they can hold their own against Imperial regulars. And with our assistance, I am confident they can do just that. That might be going a little far, but uh, if we're all here, it might if actually go okay. Even a token victory. I believe it will serve to rekindle the hope of the Alamegan people and inspire them to rise up once more. I guess that could work. Aye. Aye. Once word spread that we'd won a battle against the Gallians, I'd wager we'd have new recruits flocking to us from Malms around. 
The question is, when and where do we strike? How about here and now? I'm glad you asked. I have a plan. Oh, okay. You look devious. I think I like this plan already. <laughs> So what's this plan stirring around in your head there, Pippin? Oh, okay. That would not be good. So you want to sabotage it before they get the chance, right? Oh, yeah, that would be pretty easy to take care of. I've taken out probably several Magitek armors at this point. <laughs> Right, exactly. Okay. I mean, if anyone's going to start this fight, it's going to be Robon and Pippin. They, they are... Well, I don't know how much... If Pippin's actually an Alamegan, but I know Robon is, so... He has a little bit of a deep connection with this area. Okay, so a pincer attack. Got it. Sounds like we've got a plan. Now it's just time to execute it. Let's hope she can run all the way back to Ralgir's Reach by herself. I know we sort of carved a path for her, but the enemies here respawn pretty quickly. Yeah, you know I'm not setting this one out, Ali say. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can decent this Gogniskin jacket of aiming. Might get something decent out of it. At the very least, I'll get crystals, so... Uh, let's see, it would be in here, right around here. What do I have in here? Charlayan Custodian's boots. I don't know where I got these, but I can decent them, so... I don't need the seals, so that's why I'm decenting them. Don't know what kind of leather that is, guess we'll find out. And this one, yep, can decent this too. Let's see. That is a person with a mecha gorilla. That's this fine. something. <laughs> uh, so what do we get? Oh, that's Meteor. Or no, that's that's Yugman with the Mecha Gorilla. I didn't see the name because it was cut off from the top of my screen. <laughs> so everyone's here except for Cole at this point. Uh, Amphitera leather and a copper nickel nugget. Well, I might need I those for synth it. thing. Uh, what do we got here? Yeah, I don't think I can decent any of that. I think that's all blacksmith stuff, so we'll probably just get the materia. So what do we need to do, Robon? <laughs> yeah, I'm ar you already know I'm participating here. Okay, I will mark the location on my map, and by that I mean I'll make sure that the objective marker is there. <laughs> Let me take this flag off. It's already sitting in my uh, in my party chat there. Okay, so meteors on a T-Rex. Someone angered mountain grizzlies directly outside of the town. That's great. Uh, where are we going to anyway here? Oh, okay, I've been over there. That's not too far. And there's a settlement just down there. We might be going to that settlement, honestly. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna walk around these, these angry grizzlies. I don't think I need to... That sounds like a good idea. I don't think I need to mess around with them. Might be going the long way, but that's okay. Also, angering Saprias, but you know. It's fine. I'm Tenka Gokenning with a Kaiten, but that's okay. I would rather you not bloody caress me. Thank you. Not sure what the aggro range is on all these guys, but that's okay. We've got, we've got time. We've got Confucius. We we're good. We're good. We've got Leshies that are probably going to look at me funny when I pass by them without fighting them. But you know, it's basically a foregone conclusion at this point. Okay, so if I go across the bridge and off to the left, I should be able to make it to where they want me to you go. Want to go. I mean, I could go around, but like, why? <laughs> Uh, oh, 
the bridge is in the opposite direction. Okay. I took the wrong path, it seems. Let me see. Can I go down here? Yes, I can. Maybe the leshy won't bother me if I'm in the river. Maybe I'll get to the river if I follow the river. <laughs> Is that a good sigh or a bad sigh? That's a we made it through the insta kill the party mechanic. Okay, good. Now you just gotta lop off the rest of his HP. He's only got 20% left. Fuck my life. Nidhogg Extreme wasn't this bad. Mm. I mean, it's, th it's you with three first timers, though, so. I wanna die. One of our first timers left. Oh. Like, just gone. I'm so mad, I'm forgetting to mitigate damage. Mitigate damage. <laughs> Remember your healer. Yeah, I had that kind of luck yesterday in my uh, die, die, in, die, die, die. In my leveling roulette as well, because uh, we oh. we did Gubal Library and it was two first timers, and they tried the f the final boss of the library. Like we got up to the final boss with pretty much no problems. They tried the final boss of the library, and both of them, I told them, if you get an arrow over your head, go to a corner, and uh, stick with, like, I told, basically, stick with each other, like, two people stick together for one, for the second part of the mechanic and that sort of thing. So I told them all to do that, and they would run to the corners to let the sparks go down, but then they would stay there, and the sparks would kill them, and I'm like, okay, but listen... I told you to go to the corners. I didn't tell you to stay there. If you're going to stand there and take Voln stacks and stacking damage that you're taking there, then I don't know if I can help you. <laughs> so uh, okay. I'll get on actual Rory and I, I need a minute. Okay, that's fine. So essentially what ended up happening was that both of the first timers left. I'm like, okay, fine. You're you're only cutting your own nose off despite your own face there because you're I'm ten go cutting again. God damn it. <laughs> because uh Yeah, you're only cutting off your own nose there because you're the first timers. You need this dungeon done, so you know. And then I ended up with two people that knew what they were doing, and I was like, okay, this is gonna go swimmingly better, and it did. We caught killed them in the first try. Speaking of killing them in the first try, so how many quests have you gotten done since I uh? Uh, not that many. Okay. All right, speed reading initiated. Can't wait till you're in a similar position. I just hope that you, uh, when you're in a, oh, okay, I gotta go back. I just hope that when you're in a first timer position like that, Conquer, you don't just leave if the boss gets too frustrating. I don't expect you to do that. You don't seem like the kind of person that would, but like, it's it's not that bad. <laughs> it's fine. You just need to not stand in death. It's it's really. Like, I don't know what else to tell people. Don't stand... Like, if I need to tell you, don't stand in the death, then... Don't I don't know, man. Don't stand in the death. Well, no, if, if, I'm, if we're at the point where that's what I need to say, then I don't know what... I don't know what else to tell you. Like, I, I can't... If, if you're the healer, especially if you're the healer, and you're standing in the death, like, there's a point where I can no longer help you, and that's pretty much the point right there. <laughs> And don't get me wrong, Gubal Library's final boss is hard for first timers, but if yeah, you're it is. if you're not understanding that you can't stand in the death or you'll die, then I I don't know, man. Maybe I'm I'm asking too much. I don't know. I, I'd I'm like to believe I'm not, but I'm on actual Rory, by the way. Oh, nice. You can send me a party invite. I feel like I need a drink after that dungeon. It's understandable. You had three first timers against Needog. <laughs> three first timers, one of which left, and then we got somebody who I can also think was also a first timer, but for some reason knew how the mechanics, and they're the first one I saw actually attack the fucking ad. Hmm. Or the uh, jail that spawns. Oh, okay. Interesting. Done worse and in other games would be fine. As in other bosses and other games have been exceptional. Like, Why am I dying? No, I get that, Conquer, yeah. 
And the Behemoth and Monster Hunter World, the fight itself is mostly BS. See, if you can handle Behemoth and Monster Hunter World, I don't think this game is going to give you any particularly difficult trouble anywhere, so. Oh yeah, I gotta send Cole up. I'm gonna send you a party invite, Cole, and give you the flag, because I'm at an instance now, so. Cool. Uh, cool. invite to party. Oh, okay. I'm doing story stuff, okay, I know. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna wait for it to refresh, and actually, I'll just do it this way. Okay, there we go. Okay, invite to party. Here is the flag that you need to see. Hopefully it shows up. Oh, no location set for map link. Hold on. Hold the phone. I'll get it. It's in the fringes, right? Uh, yes, it is in the fringes. And it should give you... Yeah, that's roughly where the ether current is right there. Okay. All right. You got that flag on your map? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to exit the party then because I have to do an instance, so. <laughs> do it up, bro. I'll be back. All right. Um, let's see here. What else was I going to do here? Oh, I think that's it. Oh, no, no. I was going to take the flag off my map. I don't need it there anymore. Incidentally, where is the next ether current anyway? 586 to the south. I don't know if we... We probably haven't been down there just yet. Oh, boy. Garabania is fucking huge. It is. This is Roban EX. This is what became known as Roban EX. Oh, is this the instance at the very towards the beginning of the Stormblood stuff that everybody got stuck on? I heard about that. Man, I heard the words Roban EX. I got excited, but then I realized what it actually is, and I was disappointed. I thought we were actually going to fight him while he was like a berserker. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. I would die. That would be beautiful. Like, they should put that in as, like, a joke quest or something at some point. <laughs> Use the duty roulette to enter Robon Extreme. Like, I, I could see that being in, like, a uh, Hildebrand quest or something. <laughs> Bruh. Oh, wait. I think I know what ether current you're sending me to. I think I might have gotten this one already. Oh, okay. Well, if you did, then you're better off than me, because I missed it, so. Bruh. Oh, great. It's this guy again. Rain. Yeah, I have this one already. Okay. So you have four right now in the area, or? Yes. Mm, good. Made it past it on day one, thank God. Well, that's good. I've, I've heard some people have some horror stories about Robot EX that made them have some seriously frustrating times. Yeah, like, I think Yugman told me about it at one point. Almost quit the game because he took time off work and couldn't get in for, like, three days. Oh, my God. That's nuts. But uh, from what I hear, though, they learn from their mistakes and they don't have this sort of thing going on. In, uh, or at the very least, they prepared for it more with Shadowbringers, so that's good. <laughs> it's like all my name days have come at once. Is, is this going to be like this guy's catchphrase or something? Are we? Is he going to be like a recurring villain and we're going to hear that every time he walks around? Did oh, I did I stumble I into a Saturday morning cartoon by any chance? I mean, some people will tell you that Stormblood is just a Saturday morning cartoon. That's not <laughs> because apparently the plot's garbage. Apparently. Oh, well, hmm. well, if it isn't Garland's little troublemaker. <laughs> I can't wait to see the look on Xenos's face when I bring him your head. I don't think that's how you pronounce Xenos, but okay. I'd like to see you try to bring him my head. That is, if my secret weapons here don't grind it into mush. Attack! Bring it on! I should probably kill the giant Magitek thing with chain missiles first, huh? Robon would probably give you a quest where you would fight against him as training, but it really isn't training, as long as it isn't arm wrestling. <laughs> yeah, he really would go berserk if you got in an arm wrestling match with him. Uh, yeah, Magitek Vanguard, that guy first. That guy first, please. Oh, God. I'd rather not be pile-driven, thank you. Uh... Thankfully, I should have my, uh... What's it called? My, my, uh my trait that gives me enhanced amount of uh, Kenki from all of my attacks here, so that should go well. Get after them, damn you! Uh, not that guy. There we go. 
I guess I'm gonna have to AOE again a little bit, huh? That's okay. Just a tiny bit. Come here, you! Oh god. Not sure which one I'm supposed to be attacking here, honestly. But I'm doing the best I can. Let's try attacking this guy and seeing what he ends up. Uh, no, he's pretty tanky too. All right. Gotta remember to weave a little as long as I can. That did good damage. Okay, got you. Okay, so there is a healer in here. They're just over there. I'll have to remember that. I'm not exactly 100% sure how the... Um, Layer. Oh boy. I don't like that tether. You'll be weeping blood. How far away do I have to get before the tether's gone? Uh. Okay. Tether's gone. <laughs> Back to the action. What was I saying before? Yeah, I'm not exactly 100% sure how the the buff that we get for this, the uh, Warrior of Light buff, is. Like, I don't know how it works exactly. Uh, okay. I don't know who that is, but they sound angry. Ow. Um... Oh, I think I see it. Okay. So I need to get away from this... maybe. So it's like a, um... It's a different kind of tether, then. Okay. It's it's like a uh, proximity tether, it seems like. At least to, from what I can see. This is a pretty long instance, though, isn't it? Might give Cole a chance I to catch mean, up. <laughs> I'm already almost to the instance. Okay, so those detonate when they're too close. Okay, got it. Never underestimate the limitless ability of my speed reading. You don't have any idea how fast I am. <laughs> I'm fast as fuck, boy. Ah, the pincer attack has occurred. Cool. I hope I'm not in the middle of both of those AoEs now. Okay, cool. Well, apparently it keeps going. I've arrived at Robon Extreme. The time has come. <laughs> uh, that's gonna blow up. Let's hope I can uh, Midare it enough to erase the health bar before then. <laughs> Weaving. Oh god. I don't have an LB to kill this thing! Oh, that did pretty good. We're fine. And that takes care of that. Apparently, we don't get to lay the smackdown on Grinwad again just yet, but eh, whatever. It's fine. There'll be a boss in, like, one of the castrums we probably have the loot layer. Probably. He seems like a minor villain. Like, a very minor villain. Like, a worse than Gilgamesh minor villain. Seems like he'd appear in, like, a Stormblood Hildebrand quest. I didn't need to know that, thank you. Anyway. 
Mark my words, the next time we meet will be the last. Well, that's usually how it works, rule of threes and all, but it'll be your funeral, man. I couldn't see if Elise was doing Red Mage stuff or if she was doing Paladin stuff. Her stance makes it look like she's doing Paladin stuff, but... That's it, Robon. Give it to him. Robon, you absolute unit. Well, that's a nice major victory for the Resistance there. Should help a little bit. I can see, though, why it might, um, that might trip people up a little bit at the beginning of Stormblood, because that's a long instance to set right at the beginning, and if everybody's loading into it by themselves, if they didn't prepare the servers for that, holy crap, man. And it only got more impressive from there, so. This is true. Pippin did, uh, you know figure this whole thing out. Roban just said, you know what, I've got one arm, but I'm gonna fucking beat you to death with it. <laughs> it was Roban saying Roar to Zona because that's his sword, he did a huge AoE. You were technically supposed to pull the ads fixating you into that AoE. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I had no idea, so... <laughs> I just saw a tether and I thought holy chains and run away. So. Don't know why. It wasn't even a chain either. But, yeah, it's fine. We, we killed it. It's fine. Because <laughs> there will be plenty more where that came from, Robon. Trust me. Seems like a job well done. It does, however, make me wonder what the settlement is that's down there, though. I know there's no etherite there, but I might go check it out just for the hell of it. Well, glad to hear you found it inspirational. I just kind of do what feels best in battle, honestly. Excuse me. Uh, take the materia. Cole needs all the materia he can get, so... I don't think I can decent any of this stuff either. All right. I really hope that Leshy doesn't aggro to me while I'm talking to these people. <laughs> okay. So is this directly back at? Yeah, directly back at Ralgir's Reach. Okay. Well, there's Meteor again. I'm just gonna use Return because I've got it. So we could walk all the way back, but it, this is a little easier. This might also let us get to the uh, part where we go do uh, whatever Mephred's quests are now, as well. So that'll be good. Let me take my helmet off, don't need it right now, so. I don't know, how's my gear looking? I'm trying to think if I should repair after that. No, it's probably fine. I was incorrect, I am not near Robon Extreme. Oh. <laughs> Welp. Rip my soul. Rip my entire existence. You will be there soon. SB's DCing. That's not good. At least I think that's what that red mark means. Yeah. Pokeballing. Yeah. Oh, you logged off. Okay. Gotcha. I just passed by your... Uh, I just passed by Jarek, so... Maybe you were logging off while I passed by you. Maybe that's what it was. Well, again, twarn't nothing you wouldn't have done for us, so. Well, it's one victory out of many, but I'll take it. Yeah, that's the idea. It was the principle behind the attack, not the attack itself. I mean, it, we had to win it, obviously, but, like... Oh yeah, that's it has been a while, hasn't it? 
Well, we can let bygones be bygones at this point. We did just allow man and dragon to peacefully coexist, or at least somewhat peacefully coexist, back in Ishgard. So if we can do that, I'm sure we can just get two disparate people together. Or rather, I should say two disparate peoples, like plural, because it's a, it's a group of people. Oh, okay. Well, Inago has a plan. We'll let her carry it out while we go do other things. Fun fact, there's some lore on the Automori mentioned in Bard 60 to 70 which you can go into later if you're interested. Sure, yeah. Because I don't think I'll ever be going into Bard. I'm not exactly the best singer, so... Since this is a self-insert character, I can't exactly justify myself inspiring my comrades with song in battle, considering um, my singing is about as good, pleasant to listen to as sandpaper. So, Food now, though. Alright, Espy, no problem. Go get yourself some food. The quest name said you can't help but wonder if you remember who he is. Who? Uh, Mefred. Yeah, I can't say I do remember. Sorry. Can, can you refresh my memory? <laughs> oh, Mefred. He's the uh, one guy we were helping back when in the uh, place of Palace. Oh, yeah, he's the guy that needed medicine for his friend, I think. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, some of you guys are bold enough to try to take your homeland back. I can't say I blame you. Glad you found fulfilling work. Okay, we gotta go to Alagana in the Peaks, so that's where we'll go. Oh, apparently Lisa's going with us. All right. It's her hometown. That that makes perfect sense. Okay. Let's go see what we can do in the peaks. Cause we gotta go there right now by going over there. Did you get to the instance yet, Cole, or are you? Why, yes I did. Okay. So you're slowly catching up. I could probably meet you in Alagana because uh, right. you sh it shouldn't take you too long once you're done with the instance, because you could just come back, like, teleport to Ralgear's Reach, and then turn in the... Qu like, once you're done, and it gives you the quest thing to go to Ralgear's Reach, you can just teleport back here and go from there. So. All right. Yeah, I'll meet you. That's a lot of guns on that mech. There is, yes. Well, it'll be a learning experience for all of us, at least, because I can't say I've ever seen this section of the map... Looks like oh you guys boy, have got it boy. pretty well uh, garrisoned, though. Okay, cool. If by carefully, Mefred, you mean beating up any Imperials we find, then I'm all for it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Journey to the Peaks. And the Peaks is also a gigantic area, as you could plainly see. It's like two of the Dravanian hinterlands, for Christ's sakes. <laughs> it's ridiculous. They, they really scaled things up, it seems like, in the, uh, in the time in between. Uh, oh, good. And it's more of a pain in the ass to find Aether Currents. <laughs> it won't be that bad. Once you're out of the instance, though, let me know so I can put you in party and I can give you some flags for any ether currents that I find. Cool. Is that an upside down pyramid? Silent watchman that would stand long after we were gone. We came seeking allies to join us in the fight against the Empire. People who had had enough. People who had suffered every possible indignity, who had been treated like animals, day after day. I see the Empire spared no expense. They pulled the Space Needle straight out of Seattle and stuck it here. <laughs> As Empire do. Hmm. Ah, 
Oh, okay, there's another glamour there. Oh, we're coming out of the glamour, okay. Might wanna, might wanna put that back up when we're done here. <laughs> I don't think the Empire needs an easy way into the home base of the Resistance. So I'm guessing since they had the barricade there, I probably couldn't have gone to the peaks early even if I wanted to, huh? Well, that's all right. Okay, Mefrid, where to? <laughs> right, yeah, they just see it as every other temple that they've ever seen, so. It's to the east, okay. You guys go ahead, I'll find you. I have, I have a very keen sense of direction when there's a map marker to show me where to go. <laughs> uh, is this? Yeah, Alagana has its own etherite. Okay, cool. Down here is a dungeon, and what is this? Alagiri. I don't know when you go there, but I would assume it's later, unless we're going to go there while we're doing this quest, which I guess is a possibility. Well, nothing else for it. Let's go, Confucius. So we can find a way out, out of these ruins without stumbling all over ourselves. Ah, here we go. Can't tell if that's a dragon or a bird. Looks like a, a flying a cockatrice to me. It is a bird of prey. We'll just call it that. <laughs> I can dig the uh, the battle theme that they've got going for Stormblood here. I'm not 100% sure if eventually it might start grading on me because of the, the opening that happens whenever you get into a fight, but it doesn't happen, the opening that is, if you uh, start a fight close, if you start fights close enough together, so. It's too bad I didn't uh, wait for the weekly reset on uh, the challenge log to do all this stuff though, because uh, Confucius would be getting a hell of a lot of experience that way. I mean, he already is, as you can see, but he'd probably get up to rank 11 uh, by the time we're done here. I'm sure that'll happen anyway, though. Well, there's the upside-down pyramid and the space needle. What do you think, Lise? Yeah, that's what I want to know. It's been a little while. Obviously, since you've been here, otherwise it probably it probably wasn't constructed when you were here, I would guess. Seven hills! There's no way we can run away in time! We need to disable the giant robot! Rory fell close five times. Robot <laughs> dies. Wah, wah. I kaiten sense sec set the kaiten setsu gekkered it, like, twice. And did my regular rotation to get to that point. And then it was gone, so... Uh, we just southwest of here, and also I haven't been doing this, so... 180 northwest, okay. Call, I'm looking for ether currents, so you might actually catch up pretty quickly. I thought I was looking for ether currents, too. Shit. Welcome back, Espy. We just got to the peaks, I'm looking for ether currents while Cole gets, uh, makes his way over here. I think it should be, yep, there it is, right over there. There's one on a cliff just after you get into the entrance, Cole. Into peaks. Cool. Oh boy. More ether currents. <laughs> God you only it. gotta we collect them once, bruh. It's not even that. We just discovered this gigantic new area right outside of Garabania. And, or I should say in Garabania. And now we're going to a different area that has eight more. Yeah, the, the thing that they did when I was looking up when to do the ether current quests... The thing that they did was they sort of split up um, a few of the areas in Alamigo almost in half with the way that Stormblood's storyline works, I guess, because you can find some of the Aether Currents and do some of the Aether Current quests in both the Fringes and the Peaks uh, right around now. Like, once you're done with these quests, you can do them right around then, but you can't get the rest of them until almost the end of the Stormblood scenario, which I'm guessing is when you come back to Alamigo from wherever you go after that. I, so I don't know if that's a spoiler. I, I know where we're going after that, but I'm, I'll wait to say it. 
So what you're telling me is the Square Enix devs looked at this absolutely enormous landscape that they said, huh, let's fill this to the brim with side quests, with fates and all this other shit. And then some dumbass table said, well, how do we make the players enjoy this more? I got it. Let's make it so you can't fly around this area until the end of Stormblood. <laughs> yeah. I Am get I screwed? Where the hell is my gaming pillow? That's a good question. Where did, you, where did you put it? Oh, I'm sitting on it. Fuck it. Mm. I mean, I don't mind it. It's not a huge as deal. As long as the landscape isn't ridiculous, like Heaven's Woods landscapes. If I have to scale a mountain to get into an area to make me feel like I have to make it feel like, oh, if you need to scale this mountain like a hundred times before you can finally just fly up to it and get to the area normally, if you don't want to pay money to teleport to it. Like that one observatory. So appreciate it. Like that one observatory in frickin', uh, in, uh, in, uh, Kurthus Central Highlands. Remember that exactly. one that you have to walk okay, all the way up and all the way down like six times? Exactly. My point is, all I'm saying is if the game if the game devs are like, oh, you have to do this so you appreciate it more when you fly them over. I don't want to appreciate your bullshit level design. Let me go through. I get it. Landscapes are beautiful. I understand that. I completely appreciate every second of your work because I understand what it's like to design landscapes. But seriously, why? <laughs> There's I'm some mad. pretty freaky bugs out here, Call. I can tell I'm mad because my body temperature just shot up like four degrees. Hmm. Ooh, that was uh, a little weird. That's okay, though. It's because you only gain access to some parts of the map and it's a plot point that you do. Yeah, what I'm thinking is basically happening is that because this is kind of the central location that the Empire has taken in Eorzea, in the Eorzean, like, the greater landscape, the Empire probably has a bunch of, like, checkpoints on the roads where you can't pass through them without, like, you know doing certain plot points and, you know, defeating the Imperials that are there. I, I, if I had to guess, I would say that's probably what it uh, what it boils down to. It's got to be something more than that. I don't think Imperial checkpoints would serve to stop the Warrior of Light. Yeah, but there's a lot of them. <laughs> oh, but you fool. There is one more, much more simple thing that can stop the Warrior of Light. Big that's... rocks. Hmm. That, that could be too, yeah. Cole, there is a fate directly near Alagana called Das Boot. Uh, oh, I should be doing this while I'm wandering around. 295 South. Okay, sure. Let's go get it. As long as I'm not being black. It's probably up by the upside down pyramid, isn't it? You know, I feel this like honestly just like. Well, I get it. I really want to experience Stormblood story and Shadowbringers story, but if they pulled this shit where I can't get half the ETH for currents and like Storm and like Shadowbringers, I'm going to be miffed because it's like that's the story that we're all waiting for. Like that's the one that I want to do. That's the one you want to do. That's the one most of the audience wants to see us do. And if 50% of the playthrough is us running around wherever the hell Shadowbringers takes place, it's like, oh, dude, why? Yeah, I get it. I don't mind though. I don't mind wandering around grabbing all this stuff, it's fine to me. Dude, the key current here look why. metal as fuck. <laughs> Man, this is why I should I should have never gotten the ether currents in uh, Heaven's Ward. Because now you're I'm spoiled. spoiled from flying. <laughs> it's just so much more convenient when you're going out and flying, and then you have to get back on the ground. You just never want to leave, man. Mm. Yeah, you spend very little time in those areas and start out, it's more of an introduction to them and you do them fully later. Oops, I did that wrong. Yeah, no, it's it's fine. Like I said, for me, it's fine anyway. Cole, it might not be so fine. <laughs> well, if you're a blue mage and you don't have phase yet, uh, I have two questions. Well, I have a question and an answer. One, what's wrong with you? Two, you could get it here if you want it. <laughs> Uh, I do understand that, SP. Like, at least this isn't, like, so far a Heaven's Word situation where they're asking us, Hey, run around the entire map to complete your story objectives and collect the ether currents along the way. Oh, but what's that? You can't get to this area area unless you do this for a quest or something like that. You know what I mean? You know how it did in, like, Aziz Law and shit like that in Sea of Clouds, where they were like, walk around the entire map for these reasons. At least here they're like, okay, just go from A to B. Is it up here? Oh, that's yeah, if they are, they're spacing it out a hell of a lot better. 
Uh, 28 to the south. Oh, to the south? So is it down there? Did I go through this upside down pyramid for nothing but the scenery? Because, I mean, that's fine, but... This is fine. Oh, I see it. Okay. Wait, how the hell do I get down there? Jump. Uh, Confucius, if I don't make it back, uh, take Interceptor to a good home. We. Ow! I missed the jump anyway, now I gotta go around again. That's okay. <laughs> How did that not knock off your entire HP bar? It knocked me down to one. So. I would just like to make a point. My brother just jumped off a cliff specifically to go grab an ether current and then missed. Alright, now how do I get up this crazy ziggurat? Okay. I don't know if it's called a... I think it's... Did it say it was a ziggurat? Let me look. Yeah, that's what it's called, a ziggurat. I knew I saw it. I wasn't just imagining it. You climb up the outside? Okay. Can I, like, climb this? No. Okay. So we gotta find some stairs then. Well, this is gonna take until Cole catches up to me. <laughs> Climb up the outside while fending off the key kern. That's fine. This is fine. Let's see if I can sneak by this one. Looks like one of them respawned already. Or at least the ones that are here respawned. It looked like it was on the third level, so let me just uh, figure out how to get there. Oh, Meteor taunts me from the sky. <laughs> it's alright, though. You know, something just dawned on me. What's that? We could literally, if somebody has a uh, a car, we could literally just be like, Wee, let's go fly around and get all these ether currents. Hmm. I love the taxi service. I don't know if I can do this. No, don't think so. Um, where is the section that I can jump off at? Uh, no, that's too tall. Jimmy out here trying to claim life insurance on himself. <laughs> I could probably jump off over on the left or right here, though. No. I was talking to my brother. I know. I shouldn't have kite there. Oh well. Um. I'll try right here. Ah, there it is, okay. Went up a little farther than I needed to, but that's alright. Don't hurt yourself on the way down, Confucius. I know we just kind of killed ourselves by hopping off before, but... You know. Okay. Well, that helps. What else we got? Southeast. I don't think I can go southeast just yet. What is that called? The Carmine Kitchen. Wither Wander. <laughs> they called it Wither Wander because they knew if you wandered all the way over there, they're like, wait, why are you here at this point? <laughs> Mad lads. Uh, so I have found, let me see here. Oh, shift E is ether currents. Okay, that's the wrong one. So I've found two coal. There was one that was over by the start of the peaks. It was over in the corner. Oh, by the way, are you here now? Yes, I am. In the peaks? Okay, the way, hang on. March 1st. Whose birthday is it on March 1st? Stevens. Did you wish him happy birthday? He's waiting. God, she yells at me for everything. It's like on, on stream or something. <laughs> I gotta move out now. <laughs> Akra Buamelu at the peaks 6.725.7. What the hell? Confucius, where are you going? <laughs> Wait up! <laughs> Hang on, I'm coming! Don't aggro any key current! Hey! There you are. <laughs> Where was he going? <laughs> I think he's trying to get back up here. Oh man, that was hilarious. Yeah, he did abandon me for a moment. He he couldn't figure out, his pathfinding couldn't figure out where I was. <laughs> uh, let me see if I can give you a map marker there, Paul. Oh, hold on. For the one. No phase for you. Let's see here. 
Oh, there you are. So, uh, this one is the first oh, one. Oh, I see what you mean about the upside-down pyramid. <laughs> you, you went off on a different side of the map than I did, though, so... Hang on, I'm gonna come meet up. Uh, you gotta go almost all the way to the top. It's like one set of stairs before you get to the top, and then there's little sections on the side that you can uh, jump off. So. I'm looking for these stairs. I think you're you're wandering all the way around the other side. Hold on. <laughs> let me let me meet up with you on this side because they're in the front. Although you went to the side, so that's why. Uh, actually, I'm gonna see if I can catch this little section on the map here that you were just on. I've I've angered the village, but it's all right. Uh, blood spill. Okay, there we go. I got it. There we go. We're, we're filling out the map slowly but surely. Just a little. You found the stairs, Cole? Uh-huh. Okay, cool. So, yeah, you go up uh, to almost the top. Well, go to the top first so you can see the view there, but don't try to jump off, you know. Oh, I angered another one. You showed one from below and yeah, so like go all the way to the top and then just uh, oh god, didn't get phased. Okay, there we go. And then just go one set back down. We're down here dicking around while you're doing that. So modern problems require modern solutions. I almost just missed it. <laughs> Did you get the current or? Yeah, I got it. You got it. Okay, cool. Uh, I'll meet you at the bottom then, since you're gonna, you know, kind of walk around and hop off. Did you get the one that's at the flag, by the way, that I posted? Yeah. Okay, cool. So I can unpost it now. Okay, off to Alagana then. The gang's all here. I'm not gonna aggro that keycurrent. Knock, knock, open up the door, it's real. There he is. Or there she is, since Rory's female. Ready to fight our way to Alagana? I, mean, I was going to say, let's just run past everything that moves. <laughs> You're so lazy. Yeah, I'm right. <laughs> Hi. There's a repair shop over here pretty close, though. Byron's Bread. I'm going to go see what that is. You have a mount, you know. I know. My mount runs as fast as I do right now. <laughs> if not Mine slightly is. faster. It might actually be slightly faster. Oh my god, you can walk on mounts. Yes, yes you can. So you can clop clop on your little horse. Did you anger the village? No. How do you think the people of Byron's Bread are going to feel <laughs> if we just bring a monster in here? Fuck. This is fun. Who's this guy? What's he got for weapons? Probably nothing particularly useful. Ah, yeah, high steel stuff and copper nickel. So that's probably all like level 60 gear. He can, however, repair my gear. There we go. Oh, I should mention, um, if you're looking at my item inventory and saying, wait, where's the 33 items that you've got there? Uh, I have on my other lists here, I'm compiling some of the items that I'll need for the Crystarium facet quests. So that's what, if you see more items than are actually visible on my screen there, that's what they're, that's what they are. It's just a bunch of items that I'm holding on to for when we do the, the Crystarium facet quests. So. Hey, look, there's another person over here. Oh, it's Espy. Okay. With, uh, with the Chocobo, or is that a different person with a Chocobo? It's a different person with a Chocobo. But here's Espy. Come along now so we can kill a very gross-looking Nimbus. Oh, shit. Meteor's here, too. This Meteor's here as well. You gonna help or are you gonna be lazy, Cole? I'm sending me your friend requests. Oh, okay. <laughs> I should probably do this. Hold on. Stop moving. There we go. Uh, Meteor, do you want in the party too? You know what? Let's invite Meteor to the party too. Why the hell not? There we go. Light party! Now we can get limit breaks in the field. <laughs> Bruh. 
And we found Alagana. Cool. Mm -hmm. We're gonna hit up this Chocobo Porter real quick. Now let's go do this right over here. Well, Mefrid, I took a bit of a different route, but I made it. <laughs> so this is Alagana, huh? Where do you guys find shade around here? It's gotta be pretty damn hot with that big fat coat on. Yeah, things are things are a little bit uh, strange after the whole thing with the wall. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that could be bad. Which means we're going to have to do a lot of work to get them on our side, huh? Hmm. Okay, yeah, we'll go chat with the Elder and see what he's got to say. As long as we've got a plan... And I have Ethernet access to the Peak's Gate. Oh, okay. That's interesting. So I can go over there? Okay. Well, I don't know exactly how that works, but whatever. You might as well piss in the Viceroy's eye. <laughs> uh, these are leg guards and sandals. I might be able to descent those, actually. Interesting. We'll see. Okay. Yeah, let's go have a chat with the village elder and see what he's got to say. I should probably take off my hat. It's probably customary. But pretty soon, if I keep doing all these quests, I'm going to end up uh, leveling up just off of the quest experience. Not a bad thing. Okay, we have etherite ether right access here, so that's good. And apparently, Espy's giving me an asylum to give me an idea of where to go. You forgot how to repair other people's gear? I didn't even know you could do that. That's interesting. Uh, not exactly a merchant. More of a weary traveler. <laughs> yes. Comrades of Mephrids. Yep. <laughs> I mean... We're basically wearing it on our sleeves, so... Mm, I don't know exact if that's exactly what's happening here, but... I don't know if that's going to work, though, Mephrit. <laughs> um, all of them. If you ever want to be free of the Garleans... I mean, I, I understand Mefred's position, and I agree, but I can also understand where the Elder's coming from, where the whole village is going to be dead and desolate, and there will be basically nobody left, and, you know, all that stuff. But you're not willing to fight them anymore. <laughs> well, that went about as badly as I figured it could. You probably shouldn't say that to her, though, since, you know, this is where she lives, essentially. I know she lives at the Rising Stones, but... I would guess Curtis is her father, then. Yeah, can't, can't let their sacrifice be in vain, man. I don't know, there seem to be at least a few able-bodied people here. <laughs> hmm. Wonder what plan is going through Lisa's head here. Guess we're gonna find out. Angry Co-Earl. <laughs> what a name. I don't think you made a mess of things, but it didn't exactly get us any... Uh, better off than we were.
Well, that's fair. We we uh, scratch their back. Hopefully, they'll scratch ours. All right. Let's see if I can. Uh, the leg guards. I don't know if I can descent, but I'm pretty sure I can descent the sandals. So let's take a look. Got them. Uh, in here. Yep. Can descent them. How much descenting level am I getting out of this anyway? Oh, okay, that's not bad. And I get some crystals out of it, so that's also pretty good. There are several things to do, it seems. Let's uh, avail ourselves of the people and see what they need. Well, you got any problems that you need taken care of? I'm kind of something like a wandering mercenary, so... <laughs> Maybe if you've been living under, you know, uh, Garlean rule this whole time, then it would seem suspicious. <laughs> yes, I'm actually here to help. Oh no, Meteor's dead in the background. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, okay. You can count on me, sir. So you're Angry Coral, and his name is Frightened Coral. All right. Uh, Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. I was talking to Meteor. He's still dead on the ground. <laughs> well, he pelotoned me, so he's got to be pretty okay. Well, what do you need taken care of? I can probably help you with it. I feel like I'm playing Gothic and I'm back at the old colony again. <laughs> I appreciate the regen. And that cure too that hit me for my entire HP bar. Mm -hmm. Gotta get a Chipuli horn and a hornbill talon. Okay, I can go get those. I don't know what a Chipuli is, but I'm sure I'll find it. I know I needn't trouble myself so, but I'm going to anyway. <laughs> Oh, that's why I heard fight music. Gotta go back here and here. And the other one is all the way down there. Okay. Try and see if you could rip aggro with healing, but tank stance too strong. <laughs> tank stance is damn good. I need to resummon Confucius. Hey, buddy. Sorry, I didn't realize you were running out of time. There you go. Give him his favorite food while we're at it. Man, I just keep this I just keep hearing the, uh, hell. <laughs> the fog. I just keep hearing the battle music pop in in the background while you guys are off doing whatever you're doing. Okay, well one of our quarry is over here. A Chepuli. What do you suppose it is? I guess we're gonna go find out. That is a very large grasshopper? Question mark? Since silver blades correct. sounds bad. Well, I got him. Almost. You Almost guys must have aggroed the one that's over here because there's one over here that's got a little V marker next to it. You good. Please don't run into me with your motorcycle. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm not true north for this. Uh, Jimmy? What? Heads up, there's an, uh, either a B or an A rank in the road on the way to one of the objectives. Oh, good. Meteor is playing chicken with it. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so the other thing that we're looking for is over here somewhere. Let's go check it out. It's also Trust a me, fate the, uh, here. it's it's hard to miss. Etain. That's not the that's not the B or the A rank. It's the fate that spawned over here. Oh, it's a B rank. Okay, gotcha. I'm not used to seeing level seventy B ranks. <laughs> Remember when we saw the level seventy? Uh, monster the first time we got here, though. <laughs> yeah, that was a hell of an opening to the, to the expansion, wasn't it? Let's just walk around that. I don't think even I could take that. 
Yeah, most likely not. We don't have uh, access to the fancy gear that we can get in a little while once we unlock the Clan Centurio. Otherwise, we won't yeah. be able to actually take it. Yeah, bold of you to assume I have enough Centurio seals for even a piece of equipment. Mm -hmm. I don't think you need that many. I don't think it's, um, I think for weapons it's fairly high, but I think for, um, like, armor pieces and accessories and stuff, it's only, like, 50. So, I mean, I have 4,000, so. Lucky. I have 300. That's, uh, that's my plan, by the way, is once we unlock the Clan Centurio, not for Samurai, because I use Samurai for world exploration, so I'll just upgrade this, like, a normal class. But, um, for... Like Scholar and Dark Knight and Summoner. I, oh, I think I see what you were talking about. Yeah, it's kind of hard to miss over the horizon. SP I, is currently sitting. He's in front a big of boy, Buckaboo. Interesting. I'll just I'll just go around that. It appears you guys are on your way back to the town while I'm on my way over here. <laughs> this is fine. I could probably tank that Buckaboo. I'd have to home gang at every single cleave, but. Mm. But yeah, that's my plan in terms of gear, is for the classes that I'm going to use in dungeons, I'm going to be getting the uh, augmented Lost Elegant stuff from the Clan Centurio uh, once I unlock it here in, uh, what's it called? Oh, Isn't that like that. level 70 gear? Think it's okay. What? Isn't that like level 70 gear? Yes. Are y'all fighting the fucking Mark over there? Nope. I was fighting a Chapel that was in the road. Huh. I saw like Glare and... Uh... Tank the Goken pop. Oh. <laughs> I was I was concerned. I'm like, what are they doing over there? Oh, they're following me. Okay. <laughs> I didn't realize that the the group split off and you were off on your own again. Oh boy. That regen ticked for seven thousand seven hundred thirty, and now it's ticking for more. <laughs> what in the Just hell? Think, Jimmy. Just think, Jimmy. You're gonna have as much HP as I am probably relatively soon before we even leave Stormblood. Hmm. I'm gonna have like a hundred K when I get my tank gear when we get the Shadowbringers. This is true. And if you stick with Warrior, you get ridiculous uh, healing as well. Because uh, Warrior's heal over time effects are fucking ridiculous at high levels. <laughs> Warrior's just a budget DPS and healer with a, that, like, mains a tank. Prove me <laughs> wrong. Oh, okay, well, I'll be careful when I grab these unconscionably heavy sacks. They're probably full of rocks. I got a rock. And I think we need to go back now to... Uh, this is back at Griselda, so that's back in town. This is back in town as well. So, teleport a go-go. Gonna have to start getting used to teleporting around here. And thanks to the fact that we're in a free company now, um, our teleports actually are slightly less expensive, so it's not very expensive to teleport everywhere now. Teleport to Alagana. Coward, you didn't walk back. <laughs> this is easier. Where's all the people? Here they are. I do have your leftovers. Here you go. Leftovers of what exactly, though? Was it just rocks, or...? Well, it was all in one bag, thankfully. Oh, saltpeter, okay. Gotcha. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, that probably wasn't the, the best thing that they ever did. Well, good to hear you're trying to fight the good fight however you can. You wish you could. Well, pretty soon... Pretty soon I'm sure you'll get the chance, so... Meanwhile, Griseldis, I have your uh, Chipuli Horn and Hornbill Talon. There you go. I need to see what Jaeger's barking at so fervently. Which side is he on? Anyway? Right okay. I will also be right back because I'm going to go see what Jaeger's barking at real quick. Hold on. <laughs> Neighbors again. Stop it. All right, where are you? 
Oh, he's in the back. They're probably taking their garbage in the back because that's where the garbage truck picks stuff up. Jaeger, come here. Come here, good boy. Come here. It's alright. Come here. It's okay. You don't gotta bark at them. It's alright. It's alright, good boy. Come here. Come here. You're okay. It's alright. It's just the neighbors. They're okay. Sorry, good boy, you're just your garbage in You're sleepy. You're sleepy. You're going to the garage and you're sleepy. It's alright, good boy. You're okay. You're okay. You're alright, good boy. It's okay. <laughs> He's either really sleepy or he didn't breathe enough when he was barking at them because he's yawning like crazy out there. Oh boy. My dog's a maniac. <laughs> That's all I know. Oh, you know what I just thought about? I need to check um, where some of the stuff that I need to gather is because there's some stuff for the Crystarium Facet Quest that I need to gather here in uh, Stormblood. So I'll, I'll have to do that at some point. I should look at where they are. I'll, I'll look at it probably f for the next stream so I know. Well, the Imperials are kind of jackasses, so, you know. Oh, great. So I'm guessing they probably knocked the daylights out of you and, you know, broke a few things, so, yeah. Well, I'll do what I can while I'm here. Let's go see how Mefred's faring, and we'll have to see what, how Lisa's faring once we're done here. Uh, I think I can decent all of these, so, all right. The implication is they raped her. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, that would be bad. I couldn't tell because it was dark there. I couldn't see if it was a, a male or a female person. So, but yeah, that's that's pretty terrible. That's not cool. Of the Imperials to do. That's the opposite of cool. Oh, okay. Well. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I guess we should go check on her, shouldn't we? I can guess she's having some trouble with the cynical youth that's here. We're gonna find out. Uh, not exactly. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's the high life. What's going on here, man? Yeah, that would be me. No, not exactly. Unless you're able-bodied and ready to fight, I wouldn't ask you to go storm any castrums. If you're a if you're able with a pickaxe and a shovel, though, you could mine some saltpeter for us. That'd be pretty good. Oh, that's much better. Welcome back. Thank you. No, giving people I absolute authority over the lives of other people usually leads to shit behavior. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> well, of course not. She was on the other side of the wall where her sister took her in order for her to come back so that she could come back and recruit all of your sorry asses and get this whole thing done. <laughs> you can't love this place with all your heart if you're letting the Garleans stomp all over it, man. Well, sure, but it wasn't by your choice. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So how do we convince them about the greater good like this? I'm here starting a revolution, apparently. And I'm not sure if I'm <laughs> well qualified to do that, but we're gonna, we're gonna have to find out. All right, Mefred, any plans on how we can uh, how we can figure this whole thing out? Well, yeah, uh, the, the 
Ilbert kind of shat all over our chances at rebellion being easy when he did what he did, so. Wow, it's almost like he did that on purpose because he was convinced that his giant evil god primal would just wipe out the Garleans. Hmm. Can't say that worked out too well for him. Right, that's what I'm saying. The, the running part isn't the problem. The problem is that these people were all here and they're Stockholm syndromed into thinking that doing nothing is their best course of action. <laughs> Welcome to part one of why a bunch of Stormblood is super frustrating. I wouldn't call it frustrating. I understand the reason why these people are so adamant to not fight. We're just going to have to convince them. That's all. I, I, I get it. I, I don't agree, but I get it. I mean, you're starting a revolution to free an entire country. Like, nobody ever said the American Revolution was easy. <laughs> Just because a few people dumped a bunch of tea in the harbor didn't mean the whole of the United States hated the uh, hated Great Britain. So, it's, I would imagine, a similar situation. One does situation. not simply liberate a country in a day. Hmm. Yeah, let's go see what they need over there. Because somebody's uh, having a little bit of a, a little bit of a winded moment here. Makes sense, but also, like, after the fourth time, it gets kind of old. Yeah, well... I guess. Maybe I'll feel more jaded by it by the time we're done. I don't know. Oh, good. The key kern are involved in something. Slow it down. Oh, okay. That's not good. So they went to the place that I went to before in order to explore and dick around. <laughs> Yep, I agree wholeheartedly. Let's head off and see what we can do there. Incidentally, where's the closest um, ether current here? Hopefully I can get into a good pattern of uh, using my ether compass. So. While we're at it. Uh, those I can descend, so let's just do that. Let's see, where are they? Getting those Leatherworker Desynth levels. I don't know if this is actually going to help me ever, but I figure I might get something out of it eventually. Aren't Kikr in the same color all the time? Is that racist? Nah, you're good, fam. <laughs> yeah, I already know there's a lot of them effort. I accidentally stumbled... Well, I didn't accidentally. I on purpose stumbled over there <laughs> before, so... All right, uh, this one's to the east of us, so I'm going to go out on a limb here and guess that it's probably not a good idea to head that way just yet. For now, let's just head down to the ziggurat again. I know they do, man, but I'm not going to let them eat their prisoners in this case. Like, who do you think I am? Yeah, this is only marginally faster than how I how fast I run, but it's all right. We've already been there, so I guess I can if I can get there as fast as possible, I will. Ow. That wasn't very nice. <laughs> if I was harping on Cole before about not dragging the monsters into this random little town and then I just almost did the same thing. What? <laughs> wow. So directly over, oops, there's a fence here. And a fence here, too. There we go. I was going to say, are we building up a limit break? But yes, in fact, we are. I'm coming! <clears throat> hey, dance partner. Nice. Hey, Jimmy. What? Hey, kids, you want to see a dead body? Oh, good. You finally got your cap closer. <laughs> Onslaught! I told you it wasn't too far away. <laughs> Cole's been wanting that gap closer forever because he was playing Dark Knight on his alt, and he said it spoiled him having plunge in the 50s, so... Wow, it's almost like doing content and getting certain types of skills and getting certain types of abilities spoils your ass in this game. Mm hmm Oh, good. They're oh, for fuck's all sake. They're the way at the top. <laughs> Let's hope his face doesn't melt off. 
Or was that Raiders of the Lost Ark? That was Raiders of the Lost Ark. Hmm. How about you find something else to eat, you werewolf-ass motherfuckers? Like, why don't you eat, like, the bugs or something that are here? <laughs> I, was gonna say, I think yours are gonna spawn and mine are gonna spawn and we're gonna have to fight both of them. Unless because we're in a party, it's only gonna spawn one set. I don't know. Yep, only one set. Okay. Let's keep going. Kill all of them. Am I still gonna have Yuki Kaze when we get up here? Let's find out. Yep. Oh, okay. Don't go too far now, SP. <laughs> We're not gonna need a heal, but... Oops. Kill all of the werewolves. Why is the Earth Sprite after us now? Oh, slot! <laughs> Cole just loves his gap closer. All you hear is just onslaught and then just potato torpedo. <laughs> you have become the intercontinental potato missile. Finally, I have ascended. <laughs> All right, let's see what we've got here. Stand There's still, Rakrata. It, it was, was pain. pain. If I can tank a Gokan, it's pretty good. Bam. Yay. Hello, friend. We just saved your life from a bunch of werewolves. Uh, yeah, I don't know why the Keycurrent would want to do that. Probably because they're also starving, but, uh, you know. We'll get you home. Since, you know, the Keycurrent aren't going to eat you anymore. Yes, we are. Well, most of them are on the other side of the wall, to be fair, but now they're all coming over here because the Alliance is ready to fight, so... Yeah, why don't you let us deliver it to the Imperials and then beat the shit out of them while we're at it? Hmm. I think we need to go lend him a hand, or not. Okay, so what's our move then? Ah, there's the level up that I was talking about. I also got q -ten. Nice. That's an AoE uh, weaving skill that I can use. And uh, this is Desynthable, I think. Yeah, because it's Carpenter, so okay. I don't think we're thinking of stopping him. I think we're thinking of something else. Yeah, that would make sense. Okay. Uh, do I have Q10 on my bar? I do, but it's in the wrong spot. Okay. So let's put it over here? Do I want it here? I think I want it here, actually. Now. I'll, I'll move it if I have to later. It's fine. I don't know exactly where I want my uh, my weaving skills to go, but I'll figure it out later. It's fine. I guess I could have climbed up on the railing here as well and just wandered my way down, but that's eh, okay. Oh, good. You left one for me. <laughs> I left plenty for you, don't worry. Because you ran past all of them, probably. <laughs> this is correct. Can't stun me when you're the one stunned, can you? Okay, thanks. 
Sorry. Alright, some effort's got to be around here somewhere. Over there. Over here. Mm. Over here. Okay, cool. Well, that's a chocobo feather. That might be an indication of him being here. Let's find out. Uh, a singular chocobo feather. I don't. If it's silver or gold, though, I'm gonna need it back. <laughs> you know, as bad as this probably is going to sound, I think I've already figured out most of the plot of Stormblood. Hmm. I'll talk to you about it later. Okay. Well, don't. Because uh... hilariously, I have literally no idea what's gonna happen in, the, in this expansion. Hmm. Well, don't try to spoil too much. Well, I just have theories. Oh, okay. Where is this blood glider going? I'm watching him run after one of you. you can DMS me if you like, that's true. So that I don't get spoiled. Well, there's our guy. Make sure he doesn't run amok of any Imperials that want to, you know, chop him to little bits. Speaking of them, there they are. Are they Imperials? They look Worse. more like bandits. Skulls. Listen, Reese. Whatever happens, stay hidden and do not intervene. Understood? <laughs> yeah, that's going to work real well, Nefred. You there, halt! You know you shouldn't be here. Explain yourself. Forgive me, sir. I, I came to deliver the tributum. Oh, I. A likely story. Only a fool would dare to come so late. Or, mayhap, a resistance spy. I don't know about that. No. No, you've got it all wrong. I, I was waylaid by bandits. I it's not my fault. I wouldn't go closer to the guys that can, yeah, cut your throat out. Ow. Can, can we intervene now? This is a joke. You don't seriously expect us to believe this is a fake. How stupid do you think we are? It is, I swear, on my mother's life. Ow. Spare us. You came late, you lied about bandits, and then you tried to cheat the Empire of its due. Wait, are you guys from the Empire, or are you bandits? I'm having trouble discerning. I mean, they're both just as bad, but... I think you can kill them all, including the ones watching from the tower. Even if you did, others would come for him and his family. You'd be condemning them all to a life of hard labor, assuming they didn't just execute them, that is. Hmm... So we're gonna let him die because fair. of all this. Or, you know, just get seriously beaten up. It's your bloody fault we're stuck out here patrolling this godsforsaken wasteland. It's your fault I have to listen to people go on and on about how Alan Egan's can't be trusted. Well, maybe if you didn't dress up like a moron, it wouldn't I'm happen. Coiled harder than any man. I'm a citizen, goddammit! And what are you? A stupid, stubborn little dog who'd sooner bite the hand that feeds him and pine for the good old days! I would think everyone would want to do that, but then again, I'm the rebellious sort, at least in this Enough. instance. Lord Zenos is expecting our report. Even if they keep calling him Zenos, I'm going to keep calling him Zenos. I, I know that's what they're saying, but like... It's like the reason why I keep calling Titus from Final Fantasy X Titus instead of Titus. I grew up with the Kingdom Hearts 1 pronunciation, so I'm going to keep using it. Similar with, with Xenos. I'm just going to keep calling him Xenos. I bet the poor bastard can't believe his luck. He gets to go home. We should do the same. Yeah, we should make sure he doesn't get waylaid by more Keycurrent on the way back. 
Lise, I know your feelings, but we, we gotta we gotta make sure that that's timed correctly. This ain't like before where we can just gung ho our way into the Imperial bases. Okay, so who exactly were those guys then, Mephra? Well, actually, let's see what Lise is thinking. Well, I know we could have done something, Lise, but it would have had repercussions and consequences. There's there's more to this than all what you and I are used to. <laughs> We're used to just fighting until we drop, but, you know. Oh, glorious. Another polit another politics expansion. Hmm. What, do you think they almost saw us? Of course they saw us. The Warrior of Light emanates a pure, a pure aura of protagonist. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess. Man, my Carpenter Descent level is really low. I'm gonna have to do something about that. Oh, I got some Battlecraft demo material. That usually sells for a decent chunk on the market board, if I remember right. Uh, the Beach Rod is... and so is the Copper Nickel Foil. Okay. Making popcorn. Yes, Warrior of Light Bulb, indeed. <laughs> yeah, that. Okay, back to Alagana then. And look at that, Cole even gave me a convenient teleport since, you know, we're all in a party. Ugh, excuse me. Well, let's go see how this all will, uh, will end. I don't think it'll end like this, though. We're going to have to do something to deal a blow to the Empire, since we just did that in the other quest. So, Yes, yes, we did. Could have. It would have caused some serious problems, but... Right, exactly. They would have burned this whole place to the ground. It's not it shouldn't be enough, but Mm, I don't know about that. I think you've got plenty left to give, you just don't know what you're fighting for anymore. <laughs> Well, hopefully not. I, I'd like to believe that with us here to keep her from walking that path, she won't have problems with, you know, dying. So. Yeah, let's go see if uh, Lise is not... Uh, I mean, she's probably having some, some trouble processing all of this, obviously, because... I, I, admittedly, I, it would probably be within her bounds to expect to just kind of walk in here... And the people will be like, oh, you're back, we'll fight for you, but it, it's not, not the case, obviously. Well, no, you needed time to think, I get it. Well, no, you're right, they shouldn't. The world is... It, the world doesn't work like if things shouldn't happen, they don't happen, though, Lise. Alright, I get that. No, I think it's still your home. And if it isn't, it will be once we liberate it, but, you know. Yeah, this is a. As odd as this is going to sound, this is starting to slowly fall in line with what I think is going to happen. Hmm. Well, I'm glad that you see the hypocrisy of your reasoning. <laughs> okay, we, we got one person. That's nice, I guess. Well, at least somebody in the village found a brain cell. Okay, there's a few of them. 
Well, you don't have to be hardened warriors. We could put you in non-combat situations. So it wasn't a complete wash. We got one or two. Hmm. <laughs> I guess it puts it into perspective, doesn't it, Lise? Okay, back to Raul Gears Reach then. And I have another teleport offer to go there. Are any of these the uh, quests that I need to do at the first break? Just so I know. What do we got? Ether current quests we're going to be doing. Saint Sayer, Match Technical Failure, and The Hidden Truth to the Honest Truth. Well, those aren't it, so. But those are the ones we're doing, anyway. I'm just going to piggyback off of your Raugir's Reach uh, teleports here. <laughs> Real quick, Good. since you're ahead. Uh, this one is right here. Yep. Okay. Excuse me. I wonder if this is the end of the, the branching path part of these quests. Like, if after this, it's just like a cent one central narrative. I guess we're going to see. That's me waiting until I get out of the cutscene and right before I go into another one. Pats. <laughs> it's fucking like sniper rifle level of padding. Hmm. Did I hit this Ethernet shard? I'm pretty sure I did. I just want to make sure that I got them all. Oh, okay, so now the Peaks Gate is in my list of locations. Okay, cool. I didn't really understand what they meant by you can now teleport to the peak skate when they were over when they said it before. It's like, oh, okay, but what does that mean? <laughs> now I know. Oh. <laughs> well, you know that usually things don't exactly go according to plan when we do this stuff, but it, it works out in the end most of the time. Yeah, they seem like a bit of assholes. I mean, they're probably just lower-end regimen people in terms of the who the Garleans are employing around here, but... Yeah, if they're siding with the Imperials there, at least, I know they're your people, but you gotta... <laughs> yeah, if they're fighting on the opposite side of the battlefield from you, you're gonna, you're gonna have to put them down at some point. <laughs> Just because Lola Rado's part of my kind doesn't mean I want to drop Kim out of a window any less. Mm. This is fair. Any idea what it's like to deal with him in bureaucracy? <laughs> he just never shuts up. Yeah, I can imagine. Okay, and that takes care of that. Um, I think the planisphere is also decentable with Goldsmith, if I remember right. So let me take that. Let's see what we can do. Okay, Conrad wants to talk, so we'll, we'll talk to him in just a second, after I do this. Probably what I'll do from now on, though, is I'll do this decent thing uh, off-screen, because I think it's probably a little, a little easier to do it that way. We got earrings. All of these earrings are decentable, that's for sure. Well, that's what happens when you have a few extra hired hands. Oh, excuse me. Ugh, good lord. Don't Glad die, to help, though, Conrad. Half an hour left. What? Don't die, Jimmy. You still got half an hour left. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm yawning and I'm leaking from my eyeballs. It's okay, though. Oh, okay. Alpha Node's back. Yep. Yeah, we've been, you know, keeping busy while you were at it. Oh, good, good. Is that the cynical youth that's standing right there, or is that somebody else? Aaron Vald. Somebody else. I don't think that the the cynical youth from Alagana had that tattoo, though. So he just looks similar. I sure hope so. Oh, okay, cool. 
So the first uh, little effort in the war effort will uh, be Castrum Velodyna. Got it. Now we just got to figure out how we can train these people to be ready for war. <laughs> That's going to be a tall order. Oh, the cutscene's sending me somewhere. Meanwhile, in the Royal Palace of Alamigo... Maybe if I was in the Royal Palace of Alamigo, my hands wouldn't be so cold. <laughs> Still working on the circulation thing. Gotta work out more. So the Raugir's Reach theme is the Imperial theme? Except, like, a little, you know, different. I didn't expect that. Hmm. Trauma and brainwashing are a surefire way to make war-worthy soldiers. Well, hopefully we won't have to resort to those uh, heights there, Mark, because that's the kind of stuff that the Empire does, and... Ooh, I don't want to be on level with them. <laughs> and hello, Mark. How you doing? Welcome. I don't it's, oh, sure. it just seriously still seems to bug me that they left all the griffin statues intact. Like you'd think they would have like lopped their heads off or something. Just as a show of, of force and, you know, a, kind of a, like a fuck you to the Alamegans, but I guess not too many people get in here to see this guy. Maybe Xenos just likes griffins. Maybe. I don't think he's going to like me in my griffin <laughs> uniform. Imperial theme is basically plagiarized from Alamigo's theme. Oh, okay, gotcha. So they, they, they're using the Alamigan theme. Hmm. So, so what you're saying is that Xenos really, really likes Alamigo, but he only likes it when it's under his thumb. <laughs> Or his boot. Oh, that too. Art, yeah. They don't give enough of a shit, probably. Yeah, I, I know it's art, but that's precisely why an empire would want to destroy it, you know what I mean? Because art is powerful. It sends a specific message to the type of people that are there. It, you know, gives them nostalgia for their home, and that nostalgia can lead to them wanting it back, and then they would fight for it. And I know they can't really assault the empire in the numbers they're in right now, but, like, you know... But yeah, you're probably right. It's probably just no. They don't give enough of a shit. A unit tasked with field testing prototype Magitek weapons was attacked. The weapons were destroyed, with the unit sustaining near total casualties. Except Grinawat, he probably made it out of there. Near total. Of course he did. Go on. My lord, there was but a single survivor from the unit in question, which falls under my command. According to his report, they were ambushed by a contingent of. Aorzean Alliance regulars, abetted by resistance insurgents. <laughs> That's not going to bode well. Mm. A simple ambush and only one survivor. A fine day's work. <laughs> I'll say. Only could have gotten worse if we airstruck you. The stubbornness to survive is not without worth. He may live. However, the twelfth is no place for the weak. Aha. Uh -huh. He shall be relegated at once, my lord. As you say, the Twelfth is no place for cowards who count their lives more precious than the cause. So did you want him to die? Who would have told you about the ambush, then, if he died? Hmm. Indeed, indeed. We have no need of cowards. Then again, you don't know anything about running away from- Oh my god, he's a weeb. <laughs> That's oh hilarious. <laughs> I did transcended weeb. He's got three of them. I did not expect those to be katana. What the fuck? Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think you would know anything about being a coward. Your armor's so fucking loud, you have to fight no matter what. Why is his armor god. designed like that? <laughs> Why did you kill the... You know you're going to have to train another guy to... Critical missions to, their to do that, right? ...to hide within their castra, never meeting their prey in battle, never staring into the whites of their eyes. 
so are you going to seppuku yourself after this? Because you literally fall under the same exact wind umbrella that you just described. I know you're the leader, but like, okay, dude. Why? When confronted with a heretofore unknown icon, did we surrender the wall to the Alliance? Because my honored father, in his infinite wisdom, has not seen fit to grant us leave to march on their lands. Accordingly, we have extended an invitation to our neighbors. Gear Abania is where we shall host them. The field upon which we shall enjoy the sport of kings. It's not a sport for the feeble-minded or cowards, which apparently your entire regiment is. <laughs> He's Roar Nora Zoro, yeah. If he if he holds one of those katanas in his mouth when we fight him, I'm be tilted, man. <laughs> All tyrants are probably hypocrites. Yeah, probably. At the very least, in this case, that probably applies. Cornered animals may have spirit, but they are ultimately predictable and very poor sport. But if one dangles the promise of freedom before them while nipping at their heels to stoke their passion, then things become interesting. You know, interesting can very quickly lead to out of control, right? One which asks much of my I didn't realize he was going to keep speaking. That's why I said that. Also, so is it near, does his voice not fit his face? He sounds like a guy who's trying to do a Gideon Emery impression, but the only way he can do that is by being as snobbish as possible, and also he has the flu at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Like, cause you can you can hear the nasal in his voice. He's playing that fucking thing like a whistle. <laughs> what a <My> fuck! <laughs> I mean, he has a giant pimple on his forehead. Voice is beautiful. <laughs> Only by the grace of Lord Van Balesar were you afforded a place here, and that in name alone. We have no need of your proposals, savage. You might want to hold your tongue, man. She has seen us firsthand. Better watch, he might get a different sword out. Stop it. I meant one of the other two swords, not the this sword that you're savage. thinking of. We're not doing Mughal quests anymore. That's own. not why I was saying, God damn it. Oh, okay. Floor is yours, Commander. Thank you, my lord. Don't get used to it. <laughs> He's doing this so you can get murdered. Of course he is. Because you're all Amigan, so the more of you that are dead, the better off his cause is. If only they could see that! Oh well. Am I the only one who misses villains with actual depth? <laughs> we'll get there. You may or may not be correct. We'll find out, that's for sure. Okay, so apparently we're doing more side questy work. That's fine. It is a mystery for now. Uh, okay, apparently there's work to be had up here. Whoever this Bevis guy is. Seen me somewhere before, huh? Uh, yeah, that's me. I mean, we've beaten Belsar how many times now? A lot? Probably like a hundred. Goddamn. At least I've several dozen. A, if I've actually done a hundred runs of that damn dungeon, I'm gonna be surprised. <laughs> It's obviously not the last Sea of Fordola, and she's a fantastic character in your opinion. Well, we'll see how she how she works out. Oh, don't worry, I wasn't he talking shows. about her for shallow villains. He was probably referring to the big bad. Mud you. You know me too well. Hmm. Oh, okay, sure. So I'm, I've gone from uh, I've, I've gone from doing fetch quests to, to interviewing people. Fantastic. Oh, trust me, there's fetch quests interlaid with this one. <laughs> I'm currently doing three story quests at the moment, and I'm ahead of you. There's an Ananta out here named Karma. <laughs> 
Well, I get to go up here to the Temple of the Fist now. Maybe I'll be able to see what it looks like up here. Actually, I don't think it's up here. I was kind of expecting this would like go up and around, but it looks like it's a pretty much a flat surface. I don't think I'm going to be going to the top of that waterfall anytime soon. That's all I know. Kind of sucks, but, you know, you do what you got to do. I did double check, though, when I was um, looking up the, the quest order that I wanted to do, basically, around here. And from the at the beginning of Stormblood, like, from level 60 to 61, there's, like, 30-something quests. Like, almost 40 quests to do. <laughs> it's quite a lot, so... All right, SB, take it easy. Have a good one. We'll see you on Tuesday. But there's like a ton of quests to do at the beginning of this. And I mean, I guess it makes sense. You got to set a good foundation in order for your revolution to actually take hold. But like, that's a lot. <laughs> so like, I think we had 19 at the beginning of Heaven's Ward, if I remember right, before you got to like level six or 52. So. Well, that is a fair reason to join the resistance, so. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Is that a person standing there? Yes. Hennessy Zoe. I think I saw them down earlier here. Maybe they're talking to somebody or they're registered to go into the Temple of the Fist! Because that's what that dungeon is there. It's the Temple of the Fist. How do I know this? Well... I've seen the cutscene at the beginning of Stormblood, and there's a temple on top of the waterfall, and Ralgir is right below it, the statue, so if it's not the Temple of the Fist, then they missed a critical opportunity. <laughs> no, it's obviously Castrum. Mm. Oh, look, jokes. there is another uh, story quest to be looking into while I'm here. I didn't even see that. Well, let's go look and see what we can do. It's a pretty cool weapon she's got there, actually. Maybe it's a red mage weapon. Where's her catalyst, though? She needs a casting I'm going, catalyst. I'm going to destroy this entire town. <laughs> Why? <laughs> you haven't un... You don't understand how much bullshit I'm currently going through to find several people for this damn story quest. Hmm. They're everywhere. I'm going for a swim. I should have got my bathing funny. suit out. Oh well. I'll dry pretty quickly anyway. Look at how uh, much sun is beating down on us, so. Oh yeah, that would be a little bit of a worse situation, wouldn't it? Yeah, I know you can mount in here. It's kind of like Idleshire, basically, where you can mount. I haven't been using my mounts lately because, again, they barely walk faster than I do at this point, so I might as well just walk myself. Once they're once I get the mount speed stuff, it'll be better off. But um, and, and I have a plan for that as well because instead of just getting the mount speed from like doing the ether currents and everything like that, or doing the story, you get mount speed by doing the story. But also, you can buy riding maps with Centurio seals once the clan Centurio is unlocked here. And I'll be buying them for everywhere in Stormblood, even if it's not someplace I've even been yet. As long as it's available to buy, I will buy it. So that way I'm walking faster wherever I'm going to be. But for now, the mounts aren't fast enough for me, so... <laughs> Any idea how fast I want to be? I want to be fast as fuck, boy. Mm -hmm. So, Cole, that's what I would recommend uh, to you, is if you're going to spend your Centurio Seals on anything, buy riding maps. <laughs> you can Also, can you just say, but me, I'd rather die here is one of your favorite lines, period. Or rather, the, the emphasis should be placed on here, so it's like, I'd rather die here, rather than, you know, there, like in a castrum. Which I guess is fair enough. I'd probably I'd rather, rather die out here than in a castrum as well. We're protagonists, we have plot armor, we can't die. Yeah, true. Achieve ZB to become a master mounter. <laughs> I don't know what that is. But once I get both of my uh, traveling speed up here, I will be a master mounter. At least Knowing in Stormblood areas. With my intimate knowledge of Marklish, I believe Z-Bead translates to speed, but all caps. Oh, okay. So, Z-Bead. Like uh, yes, I like am that. a scholar of Marklish. <laughs> okay, let's see what this Ananta lady wants uh, from us for a main quest. 
That would be me. I'm looking for comrades. Ah, so my scholarly knowledge was correct. <laughs> of course, if I'm looking for comrades, I should probably look at the multiplayer expansion for Final Fantasy XV, but that's later. Uh... Oh, okay, sure. I'll go find them. Oh, good, they are everywhere. It's just like you said. Well, um, what would be the easiest way to do this? Probably counterclockwise, so let's go here first. Yeah, I don't know, man. I really dig, like, the desert music themes that they they get going on in a lot of video games, and here is no exception. I, I guess it might just be something about the, the instruments that they use, but it just, I don't know, it, it always gets me. And the music here is really solid. Like, I really like some of the, the little flourishes that they have in the background of this, so. But how devout are you, or devoted? I don't know how to pronounce that first word in his name. I would assume it's devout, but I'm not 100% sure. Or, you know, devout. Devout just doesn't devout. sound right, though. But devout sounds Canadian. Not that there's anything wrong with that. But... Current mode. Can we just go slaughter Imperials? <laughs> we'll get there. But yeah, Davut sounds too much like a boot. And not a boot as in the thing you wear on your on your feet, as in about, but a boot. So Somewhere deep in my heart, I firmly believe that my need to slaughter Imperials is more than likely unhealthy, as they are people too. However, <laughs> I need to get through them to get to the people who own the castrums. Hmm. Hell, you might even be slaughtering all Amigans while you're uh, on your way. Are they really all Amigans if they're working for the Empire? I mean, I guess it's debatable. That's a moral question. Yeah, that is. <laughs> that's an ethical and moral question, so it's really up to your impressions Which, there. To be fair, if the expansion actually made us confront such a problem, would be amazing. Hmm. Well, you can impress others by going and training hard, so I would go do that. There you go. There's one over here by the Etherite, there's one up by the other interviewee, and then there's one up probably in the direction of the quest that I gotta turn in, so. We're getting there. Uh, I can't go this way. Ah, there you are. What you doing brooding over here, man? He's a dark knight. Hmm. He needs to get a maximum of 20 minutes of brood in per day. Yeah, I think you can worry about monarchy or republic later once the Imperials are no longer here to, to crush any political leanings that you have. Oh good, they're right on top of each other. Perfect. Well, you can discuss those situations with the Ananta teacher lady. She'll be able to I'm sure she'll be able to use that information. Right, well that makes sense. Oh. Okay, apparently she's got a quest for me. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Tebby, huh? Okay. I think they might be over at the... Let me see here. Okay, so Tebby's actually right up where my last interviewee is and where I have to turn this quest in, so this is not bad. I would say, even though it's a fe if it's like a fetch quest or like a go gather X number of these things here, it's it seems like it's well designed because it all sort of circles into itself, so... It's not too bad. You know, attempting to pull a Hamlet should be struck down on sight. <laughs> you know, I, I just realized, do you remember how I said the how I asked the question of, if they're working for the Empire, are they really Alamek? And I just realized that I'm hypocritical from saying that myself. Well, but you're you're being the opposite, though, so you're no longer of the Empire. I know that Rory was Garlean at one point, but now you're working for the Alamegans, so... Rory, at one point, was Garlic Potatoes. Now she is simply Potatoes. Garlic Potatoes sound good. I want some fucking... Yeah, I want garlic potatoes. Now. I just That's love how it. we just talk about Lalafels and then we just get hungry. <laughs> I am hungry! <laughs> we'll be there in a few minutes to go eat.
Well, you might even be able to write a memoir when all of this is over. I, I hear they're selling like hotcakes if uh, the memoir from uh, the Count of House Fortin was anything to go by. Heard some. Heard somebody also was writing tales over at the uh, Resistance. Hmm. Or not the Resistance, uh, Rising Stones about our previous great battles against Nidhogg and Ultima Weapon. Hmm. Apparently he's also selling hardcore drugs along with them so you can experience the tells as he plays them. Oh dear Crazy god. Crazy ass bard. <laughs> Amazing what people will play these days. Okay, so this last person is right around here somewhere. I'm on the outside of the... Th oh, they're probably in the tunnel on the way to the, the reach here, or the temple. Yep. But we also need to go collect up on some herbs. Good. It figures. I, I've wandered into the beginnings of an MMO again. <laughs> the god do this to us in the beginning. Yeah, but the beginning of each expansion? <laughs> like, is that required? Oh, don't worry. Once we get the shot over here, so that'll be different. Hmm. I need a spoiler. I just have a feeling. Oh, I see an herb down here. I would have to look at the quest list, though, to see, like, where we are in terms of how far along we are, uh, like, like how close we are to the next major, uh, dungeon. Because I think it's, it's not too far ahead, so. Alright, Meteor, take it easy. Have a good one. We will see you on Tuesday. So if I was a betting man, I would say that the last, one of the herbs, rather, that we need is probably down here somewhere. I'm approaching the edge of the circle, though, and it's saying otherwise. I do see a lookout point. I unlocked the sightseeing log for this place, by the way. Um, so you might see those little uh, swirling lights occasionally as we pass by some places, especially when we're flying. Uh, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to get up on those places and use like a lookout command or some other emote basically and um, it gives you some experience for your and an entry in your sightseeing log it's nothing huge though uh, it's like maybe like 20,000 experience or something like that it's not really a big amount um, so I'm not gonna prioritize doing them it's just kinda something we could do if I'm like right on top of it in order to do a quest or something so I may as well well, there's more herbs. Let's go tell the Ananta Battle Maid that we got her recruits back. Glorious. You're welcome. Yeah, I don't think the Imperials will be kind enough, so so train them hard. Right. Alright, cool. Let's gather these herbs up. Since we're coming up on the end of the episode here, I might actually uh, do something that I wasn't 100% sure if I was going to do while we were here in Stormblood, but I figure since there's a new NPC here that's willing to do it, let's play a little triple triad <laughs> with this guy. Have you been? So have I. I went 11 episodes without being able to play. So we'll see what I can do. I already have the Griffin card, apparently, but he has an unknown card, and he also has Sudden Death, but ideally we won't end in a draw. So, oh, I even have the Griffin card in my deck. Nice. <laughs> All right, man, what you got? Um, Nago card. That's probably the one that he's got to give me, isn't it? Uh, let me see. How about this? He'll probably take my Griffin after this, but that's okay. Oh, no, he couldn't. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's play a little defense. Okay, that is fine as well. I think... Yeah, let's use the Gilgamesh and Enkidu. There's no better place for that than in the center. And I can take it back if I lose it by just putting Noctis down, but I did not need to because I can go like this. We are way ahead, and yeah, even if he does that, it's fine. So. Cool. Well, you do have a card that I might want, so... I probably will play you again later. I probably won't play you again on screen. I'll try to only play, like, the new NPCs that we find along the way. So. Mm. Not 
back here. Maybe it's way out there. You saw me hover over Noctis, and for some reason you immediately started thinking of Yozora. Well, they do look pretty similar, don't they? I think if I remember right, the um, secret ending for the Remind DLC directly... Wait, 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 wait. don't say anything. Okay. Alright. He's playing for Remind soon. Oh, okay. I was just gonna mention something that was probably light, but I'll, I'll refrain. <laughs> I've never had to do that before. Had me back it up real quick. <laughs> Yo, hold up. Yo, hold, hold up. up. Yep, got the herbs for you. There you go. Uh, Mark's in the process of 100%ing and getting the Platinum Trophy on base Gang Kingdom Hearts so he can go through on Critical Mode and then do Remind. Oh, I see. Okay. That makes sense. You know, the Warrior of Light, but that's okay. I don't mind doing <laughs> fetch quests if it means that we can get ahead on the main quest here. Hi, my name is the Warrior of Light. I'm a glorified mailman. I actually am a mailman now, so <laughs> not even glorified anymore. Okay, is there more side stuff? It looks like it's just this one. Token of Faith. All right. Let's go see what it has to say. Probably once we see what we need to get here, we'll call it a day, but I'm not 100% sure about that. I, myself, am going to log out of Rory and hop back on my alt. Okay. Go get some food while you're before you're uh, getting on there, though, so you can, you know, this is fine. give yourself sustenance. Ah, uh, yes, food. I should probably do that before I call Mark. A ward of the destroyer. That, that sounds, sounds something monk-like. Sounds like a landmine. I wish we had a landmine for the Garleans. Just all of them. <laughs> Drop that shit on Garlem all. It just pops, and the city is just. Gone. Yeah. Okay, well, let's go up by the Temple of the Fist and see if we can find this. And yeah, he even just said it right there. The Temple of the Fist is uh, that The dungeon. Temple of the Fist! Yeah. Unfortunately, I am no longer of the monk variety, so we won't be going to the Temple of the Fist anytime this expansion. Perhaps on the next one. I really can't just... believe I'm saying this. Wow. Can I have Praetorium, please? <laughs> so you don't have to do stupid strats with uh, Castrum again? It's not even the stupid strats. It's more like I just want it because it's more XP. Hmm. Well, that makes sense. Oh, I think I found the Ward of the Destroyer. Thankfully, there are no Destroyers here to destroy me when I pick up the Destroyer, but, you know. Imagine just pick the thing up and raw gear pops out of nowhere, like a phantasm and you punch as a monk. It just, like, auto-switches you to monk. <laughs> hey, we got Prey. Let's go. Nice. Okay, let's go hand this over to the Ludicrous Resistance XP. Fighter and see what, uh, what we have to do after this. Because it's appearing to me like there's going to be a lot of uh, little fetch things to do here. Well, thankfully, sir, I happen to have your ward right here. Oh, okay. Yeah, it looks like the temple's going to need a little restoration at some point. At some point. Uh, so who's left? So Alphanode's got something for us. What could Alphanode possibly need from us now? Now that he's come back to uh, Girabania from whatever he was doing. And where did he go exactly anyway? Well, we already know the answer to that one. He went to you know, recruit more Scions if he could. But maybe he brought back some good news for us. We'll have to find out on the next episode of Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood, the stream edition. So, thank you for watching, everybody. I appreciate you coming out to Twitch and YouTube to check out the stream. And I will see all of you on the next one, which will be on Tuesday at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's not daylight savings till next week, so I'll have to start getting used to saying daylight time next week. But not yet. In any case, take care, everybody, and have a good night. Peace! I found a nice comfy chair to sit under in the shade so I don't get too hot from the desert sun.
Too bad it doesn't have a back on it. This is gonna murder my arch support. 